Buonasera. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Kate's Grip, episode 36. Yay! Pray and pray. See what I did there. Welcome, everybody. Um, we are just waiting on one more who um, needed to do nature's greatest gift, gift to all, to all man. Um, so he needed to raise on stream. Exactly. Oh, that hey. was I hate that. Nice. It is pretty good. That was so cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cheesy. Hey, I could I could make it. Back. Um, let's, yeah, let's wait. We're gonna wait. Um, but this is I have to admit this is gonna be a little bit more of a mic test before we start. Um, we got the amazing. Oh, hello. Uh, we've got the amazing uh, Couch Goblin with us this evening, uh, just making sure that we are doing what we're doing best and making sure we're not uh, silent. But I now know a very simple button I can press to make me sound better because, <laughs> this, because this guy showed me. So I also want to point out we have more blankets in this room than we've ever had. Mm. The blankets are real. The stories are real. It's Joe, hotter in Julie, here. What? It's hotter in here. Yeah, everything yeah. you've heard so far in the stream really happened. Every single thing. <laughs> yeah. 26 year old, yeah. seven. Anyway, um, I hope everyone's well. Um, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to do the recap um, after we do our announcements and after the um, uh, this sound is is is, is good. Um, this will always be, um, I think, just a little bit of a teething issue, but. The audio, thankfully, we've been able to find out how to test it prior to going live as well. So less time for you guys to have to wait for us to, to run it around, around. <laughs> um, which is super cool. Um, Should we please. kill the air conditioning? Look, if you can help it, the aircon does impede a little bit, but I do want everyone's okay with that because it can get a bit warm. Who's wearing shorts here? I'm wearing shorts. I wore shorts. I wore shorts. I wore shorts this week. I haven't shower. showered for four days. Not me. I'm wearing pants. Yeah. pants. Otherwise, okay. Long pants. Pants. I'm wearing pants. Mm. pants. From. From that mic? I do have Interesting, okay. Pants. What's wrong? Thanks so much for mentioning about no. the Echo, guys. They're perfectly um, spent. Yeah, in, in your <laughs> respect. I wonder if it has to do with the. I wonder if it has to do with the, the speaker directionally pointing at the mic. Yeah, it, it, it could be the the actual um, the speaker itself. Um, the the uh, the one thing that we could do, guys, if you wanted to, is is just bring physically the microphone a little bit closer to you, if that's okay. Um, <laughs> Dong. Um, that would be awesome. You guys look so beautiful on street, by the way. I just oh, to oh, yeah, yeah, just oh now the mic's like right in there. You only had a couple of sips of beer. You can see it. It's right in front of my face. It's very. You can see our mic too. It's just having a little peep. Yeah, it's okay. I think I see a little bit of mic. Just shows that we're a little bit more professional. A little mic. Show the mic. Yeah, show the tip of the mic. I think. I love when Mike shows up. Oh, did it, Mike? Okay, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, bring it back. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for, for coming. Um, um, so, Gunnar, thank you for joining. Um, oh, hello. Hello. Um, so, we're going to go into some announcements uh, while um, while we're waiting to start. So, I would like to start actually, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, I've got a really cool person that I that I found on Twitter. Um, he's Is it from Adam good old Australia. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely Australia, yeah, mate. Victoria. Yeah, it's correct. Um, <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh, wow. I I have to admit I didn't get myself ready. Maybe like someone wants to do something and I can quickly look up. Look um, up. I can do some shout outs if you like. Thank you. Um, but fine. Hi everybody, <laughs> it's your weekly shout out Hi, by Emily. me. Hi, Dr. Emily. Um, <laughs> as always, want to shout out um Sarah and John from Meeples and Dragons who have been with us since the start of this campaign. Um, they are releasing their class glasses at the moment. They are amazing. Brisbane based couple. Yeah. Um, Michele is wearing his shirt at the moment. <laughs> Barclays is wearing his shirt at the moment. Um, we love the shirts and we cannot wait to get um, our hands on some more stuff. They posted a bunch of dice that I'm really interested in at the moment. If you're following them on Twitter, you will also see that they posted the monk glass today. So I am super excited to have seen that as resident monk. Um, I also want to shout out something cool that they're doing. They are joining um, Ardent Roleplay in a virtual booth at Spiel Digital this weekend. 
Yeah. So if you would like to tune in to Spiel Digital, you can check out how tabletop augmented reality works um, with Meeples and Dragons. So super exciting. Um, can't wait to tune into that. Second shout out is for Kraken Dice, um, who we are all massive fans Kraken. of. Kraken! Oh, Kraken! Their dice just make me so happy. Um, I just bought a set of Magma Flow dice, which are very, very oh, really? cool. I'm yeah, excited. Yeah, I saw excited, you post that. Excited to get those. Um, wow. Today, in this stream, we will be drawing a winner for our giveaway Ooh. for the legendary set Shifting Sands, um, along with the Titan D20. Um, thank you so much to everyone who's entered so far. This is your final chance to enter. Um, if you would like a bonus entry exclusive to this stream before we draw um, at mid-time break, you just need to comment in the chat the word... <laughs> oh, um, it's so secret. No. <laughs> Goblin! No. Goblin. No. Um, so if you comment the word goblin in the chat just here, um, you will get yourself a bonus entry and we will draw this at mid-time break. Um, other than that, thank you, Kraken. You guys have been amazing. Um, thank you very Looking much. forward to getting it going. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you so much. Um, do anyone else have, does anyone else have something that they would like to share this evening? No? We're good? Okay. Well, I'm going to say that the first part of this fantastic guy's uh, uh, name is Craft with a C-R. I'm going to look this up. Anyway, I is discovered it, is him. Is it Aeon Craft? What? Aeon Craft! He's in the chat. Aeon Craft! Welcome! Thank you so much for joining. It was, it was, uh, I, I had a chat to you today. had uh, lots of fun looking at your stream. Um, uh, it's basically, it's, it's him that makes dice. And he has all his materials on the table. He's got three awesome cameras set up. Thank you so much for, for, for joining. Um, hope you like the stream if you, if you stick around. But please, everyone who's watching, visit uh, his Twitch as well. Um, his channel, because he does pre some pretty awesome stuff with dice. He showed me some in the chat, uh, in the stream, and it was, they were beautiful uh, as well. So, yeah, thank you for joining. Uh, and I hope you, I hope you uh, have some fun. Awesome. So, are we good? Are we, are we ready to just rock in there? Yes. All right. So, let us bring it in and have a recap of last session in this Fate's Grip, episode 36, Pray and Pray. <laughs> nice. What a dramatic opener. So, sorry. <laughs> Shan, the capital city of Breland of intrigue and dangers, dangers that guide you towards the temple of Ilyana. After a well-deserved rest and discussion amongst yourselves over a hearty meal, a restful sleep took you in the Golden Inn of the Sun, a house Galandian abode, and you went with Osei to her patron god's home, to Amara's patron god's home of light and peace. But that is not what you found there. Instead, Sarivia, the tabaxi servant of the temple, entrapped by black tendrils that also touched and kept sleeping Kalashtar monks in check and sleeping as well by the dreaming dark. You were set upon also by a curious masked dwarf who revealed himself to be Torix, a dwarf that ma is made of pure gold and then you had remembered that his kind had been missing since the end of the last war in Eberron. He was protecting the temple. And as, they had wel as you had welcomed him into uh, while he was hiding with Sarivia, her thoughts left you and you slept, delving into dreams. You found yourselves in shifting times and moments, other people's dreams being produced in front of you, and your movement sluggish, though with the, night, uh, with the light of your faith, you found yourselves free of the natural change of this weird place. You found Osei, however, was brought towards and captured by a creature of the dreaming dark within a cyclonic wind of lightning and color. With Gunner's flying spell active, you pursued Osei 
and found a creature of black and white toying with Cerivia and Osei within its wispy black tendrils and hands. And here, it threatens to consume their minds and you choose who to save. So, in front of you, this silent wind shifting, visible, grey, white and black, whirling in all directions, this way and that, above and below. Looking up, you see a starry black sky where this twister ends and whatever veil of heaven begins. You see this creature now shifting and changing with every breath that you make into this long worm-like thing with this face of red and black with eyes now starting to blink into existence. And these eyes then start to erupt from the face of this creature and simply float around this head and hover as the shifting head moves these hundreds of eyes that emerge from its from its features simply move with it blinking some that look shriveled and pained others that you can audibly hear from them a scream and and a, a cry for help others simply silent this shifting worm-like thing this quarry hisses at you should you save one the other will be consumed <laughs> ah, hey, 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 done the rest yeah. <laughs> the dance has been performed you hear Cerivia, her form intertwined in these black, thin hands of one side of this creature, almost being moved between it. The body itself, more like a spirit as it blows within, captured within the arms and tendrils of this thing. In the other side of its mass of body, Osei, this pale vampire, it's her, her head and shoulders stretched, but her eyes aglow with, with, um, with living essence. And she looks at you all with fear. And you can, hear her, you can hear her voice scream out at you. Get out of here. Save yourselves. Get Cerivia. Get Cerivia. But this thing of Ilyana. As two of its hands move towards this tabaxi with dark fur, it knows. It knows your way out. Save her and be free. Save your friend and wander our domain until you are captured and consumed like these will be. Can I ask, what's the wand doing at the moment? Is it just sitting in my hand? Is it like... The wand itself, as you have brought yourself into this small area, is glowing brightly, one half of it white, and in front of you, simply levitating close by. You hear a singing. The, one of the only constant forms of light in this area around you. The black half of it in a curve, like, like, uh, like a like a, a tusk of an elephant. It, it curves slightly, and a point uh, uh, emerges emerges on each end. But centered is black and then white. And on the black side, it seems to even become more dead. And you see within this blackness, and you can't see an end. But the bright light of one half glows, and it glows brightly around you. What are you doing? I'm freaking out a little bit. Literally. <laughs> that 
levels of me saying that. Mm. Uh-huh. So I'm like flying currently. Right. You are. You're in the air with Gunner beside. You are looking down at this shifting form, but you can clearly see in front of you and with the power of Ilyanar in this curved weapon, this wand, your movements and your speech is is unimpaired by this environment around you that you first emerged into this dreaming world. This might be a dumb question, but is this a physical entity or is it more ethereal? Like Make a perception I... check. <laughs> Be good. Oh. No. Um, that's a seven. A seven? To you, from this distance, you're probably only about 20 to 25 feet away from it. This area is, is small. But this creature seems to be... The, the bottom half of its body, what, whatever is on the end of its limbs seems to be a cloud that spins slowly and the front of it seems completely solid and as it emerges from this from nothingness it becomes more solid second by second and what makes you think you'll leave here alive if you kill one of ours I am but one of many here Captured, trapped here by Ilyanar. So you're weak then? This is where we are strong. But we will be stronger in your world. I'm gonna say, let them go. Make a persuasion check. (laughs) Or intimidation, whichever you prefer. How good would that be? (laughs) <laughs> okay. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna. Um, do you say <laughs> persuasion <laughs> or intimidation? Mm. I'm gonna do persuasion. Mm-hmm. It's a nine. It's a nine? Okay. Know this. Keeper of the wand of joy. You have no. Jurisdiction. You have no speech. Your voice is clouded by despair and by doubt. You know not of who we were. We were like you once. Kalasta. We wanted more from Ilyana. We wanted Ilyanar to shine. Shine through your world. Shine and make war upon others and have them submit and worship. Ilyanar, in her name, make her the all powerful. But she shut us out. And here we are desecrated. Unmoving, out of her sight, but here we still have power. Whispers from your world have come in, and we have found purchase. We have found a way back. Others will join us, and the Kalastar will overtake you. Submit. Find your way to peace for some time more. Or join me. I'm going to say, and hear this. And then in its mind, I'm going to attempt to say, I will make it my mission to kill every single fucking one of you. One at a time. Then, welcome death, and welcome death for your friends. And as this thing 
rises above. Bakley's. You currently <laughs> are in the middle of s- just finishing speaking to the House Galandian representative in the Shan University. Uh, sorry, in the Shan University of the Morgrave College. Mm-hmm. Theriso had bid you farewell with a grim look, and that discussion is something I will give to you. With no other words and simply a farewell of silence, Malestra, having some words with you as well on your own, but needing to go her own way with the Twelve to understand a little bit about what's happening in the North. Okay. Uh, that's a big deal. Go on. No, no, that's fine. You emerge from the Morgrave University and as those massive doors opened for you to exit and to allow other students to come in, in your mind you hear the soft whisper of a young girl echoing through your mind she says Bakri your friend it is time to join them help them and it seems as though this voice looking to the right expecting to see someone (coughs) just barely a meter next to you then you look the other side because the voice changes direction and then it appears behind in front of you and above but no physical form is the source. Help them accept my invitation and the invitation of Ilyana. Please. So, am I speaking my mind? You can speak however you like. Oh, there's lots of people around. I don't want to look like a crazy guy. As you look around, uh, there are, in, in your in immediate vicinity, there are lots of students at the doorway, lots of lecturers, lots of researchers. Um, so you are in a fairly busy area. What I do is I just pop my collar up and then I just kind of walk over to the side a little bit to get on the edge of the crowd so I can talk to myself. Okay. As you pass by, no one really takes notice of, of the change in your demeanor and your uh, cloak covering your head. And you do find a quiet spot just around the corner. Okay. Ah, Lady Ilyana. I've heard of you. Good, thanks. How are you? Unwell. Bacchus. I... I cannot see anymore. I cannot... hear anymore. The Kalashtar... They are in pain. My worshippers are in pain, Barclays, and I must ask that you expedite your support for your friends, for Amara's possibly her greatest moment thus far for me. Let's see, so what tidings do you have of my friends? How are they? They are somewhere else, and they are trapped, as am I. They have a way out, but they have a difficult choice to make. Will you join them? Well, indeed, I'll help my friends for sure. Am I ready? Do I have what I need? I feel you are. Should luck guide you as well. You feel I'm ready because you have faith in me? And your friends have faith in you as well. How much faith? All there is to survive, Barclays. Okay. That's enough. That's enough for me. What do I do? Where do I go? You feel your feet at this at this very moment lift slightly, and Shan and its towers suddenly spin 
as one large clockwise pendulum would spin and it becomes faster and faster but darker as the towers melt around you as the wax hot wax just flowing and they crumble upon themselves in a liquid form but your vision changes and you see b- below you nothingness but a whirlwind of simple energy lightning crackling you see a distant form of a an eye in a storm as your companions are surrounding a black and red shifting worm and you feel yourself fall and as you do it's balanced it's controlled it's not a free fall and you feel within you a lightness and you feel energized and you feel awake and you hear one more of the same voice into your mind as she says choose wisely uh, just, just checking, checking I'm not really shining anymore am I <laughs> this is an out of body experience isn't it your form is here now, but no longer you are in Shan. So my actual body is not in Shan anymore. You get a, no, no longer a voice, but simply a feeling of the negative. I see. Into right. you. And you fall again. Let's do this. You all hear the voice of this worm, this quarry. So, another ate you. Let us decide. I need everybody to roll initiative, please. Hey. Let me just change the mood. An unenthusiastic. Oh, natural oh, 20. So it's fine. Well. <laughs> this natural twenty was brought to you by Kraken Dice. Yeah. It's a Kraken. <laughs> yeah. Is that their actual motto? If this doesn't work, it should be. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely is. Get Kraken. What was that? Sorry. It does work for them just. I wonder. Hmm. I think I will. For the purpose of this, I think I'll go. Are we using this overlay or the other one? Ooh, map. Fancy you, map cam. Map. Ooh. I'm gonna map probably do this. this. Should we go into Rotten? Uh, yes, if, if you're not already I in roll. Can do it for all yeah, of us. if you're not already in roll plus 20, please do. I need to roll some dice, if you excuse me for a moment. Yeah. How many? No, I'm joking. All of them. Um, hey, while we're waiting. While we're waiting, um, you have until the mid-break to comment below the word Golden for your last entry into the Crack and Dice giveaway. If it's your first, um, you'll have an entry and you might just win this amazing set. So please do, and thank you for joining us. All right. Can I please have the initiative rolls? Um, could you please click the thing? Click the thing? Yeah. What am I clicking? Oh, I'm clicking the thing. I'm always so, so behind. Sorry, guys. Hey. Hey. That will do, Dolphin. That will do. All right. Now, I do have to position these in a particular way as well. Thorin will be with Gunner and will be quite high. Um, Barclays, you're actually quite high, but but in the center. Rook and Amaro, you guys are going to be just here. So we're just walking, walking in. Yes, yeah. correct. Um, okay. So no, those positions... say, Hey, your friend just subscribed. Oh. What? Aeon Craft. Aeon Craft, Aeon. thank you so much for the thank subscription. You so much. Yeah, Dude, appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. 
People on Twitch. So, so, cool. so freaking the best. Thank you. Um, all right. Hey, I'm Craft. I hear you make dice. Make me some. I'll pay you. <laughs> <laughs> you heard the woman. Um, so uh, here, yeah. Um, so I won't get into that. So can I please have um, initiative rolls twenty-five to twenty, please? Twenty-three. Twenty-three for Amara. Can I please have uh, initiative rolls twenty to fifteen? Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Now, um, Rook, I'll need you, please, to let me know if the f- if your initiative roll is including the bow. It was excellent. So you are going to be using that extra extra little special Correct. thing. Correct. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so anyone else? Twenty to fifteen. Cool. <laughs> uh, Fifteen to ten. Yo. Eleven. Eleven. Same. Ah. Okay. <laughs> um, dexterity modifiers. Six. Eighteen. Uh, what? Huh? Dexterity Good dex modifiers. Is eight. Dexterity modifiers. Modifier. Oh. Two. One. Okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Barclays will go first. That's like my 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 Spider Man, my man. So Barclays I said 18 actually <laughs> Just being a total I thought so And donkey. then Thorin bring it up the rear That's uh, eight. an 8 An 8? Okay <laughs> that all I feel like there's that. something cheeky that's going to happen to me If I'm using my bow all right. No, no, I, no, no, not at all. I just <laughs> no, wanted to make sure that you, um, oh, one that you, that you remember yeah. that it was a part of it, the initiative bonus. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. I love my magical equipment. <laughs> running in and acutely aware that this creature has both uh, uh, Cerivia, the Tabaxi, and Osei within its grasps. Amara, you're first. What would you like to do? I... How far away is Osei from me? So it is the same distance as this creature, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 feet away. Same as Cerevia, right? Exactly. Is it shadowy in here? It's pretty shadowy. You could probably go into pretty much... The center? You could probably go into any square that you want because of the shifting, how quickly the shifting cyclone around you is forming. And the lightning strikes. It's only really the lightning strikes and the wand that you possess that is causing the light to shine through. But otherwise... I'm going to pocket the wand for now, if that's okay. It becomes a lot darker. Yes, you can do that. Um, if I you, can still see. You Do you have dark vision? No. Okay, if that happens, I'm pulling it back out. Because right, cool. <laughs> I need to be able to see. Um, so, But I'm just going to try not to make it like... I want to hold it in a way that maybe the dark end is up. Sure. So that it's not like... Overly bright. So that I can't not shadow step. If yeah, I know sense. what you mean. Yeah, you're um, trying to avoid that. Yeah, I can, I can move myself by the looks of oh, things. Perfect. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Is it on like the left and the right of the actual monster? Correct. Left and the right. So I'm going to shadow step up to whoever's on the left? Yep. Uh, that's the Rivia. Am I... Are they like snatchable? Uh, you can certainly try looking at them. They look like their bodies are no longer... They, they are no longer solid. It looks like that they are... But this monster is, right? This monster looks like it, it is, yes. This, this, These things are... These bodies are stretched and blurry. Okay, then in that case... You, you can take the movement better, back if you want No, to, no, that's fine. That I can't attack them far away. Um, in that case, I am going to straight up just... Staff swing down on this thing. Okay. Um, and see if I hit mm-hmm. first. Okay. Uh, yeah. Well, I hope so. I hope so too. Yeah. <laughs> it's a twenty-six to hit. Um. Uh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please roll a Constitution save? I sure can. Um. Uh. What would this be? Oh, for stun. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. What we got here? We Why are you smiling like it's immune to sun? Natural one. Really? Yeah, you're starting out well. It rolled a one on its constitution saving throw. What, what's it doing? You bringing the it pain? Is stunned until the end of my next turn. Oh. Um, right. So, and it will also take damage um, mm-hmm. from a magical staff, mm-hmm. just in case that's a thing. It's going to take full. Damage. It okay. is going to take twelve points of damage. 
Um, I actually should have gotten advantage on that attack as well, but that's fine. Um, so, then, after I've stunned so how, it... Sorry, how much damage? 12. 12, thank you. Damage. Just quickly doing this. And then I'm going to be a bit of a jerky jerk and try and confuse it. Mm-hmm. No, I can't do that again in the same turn, so never mind. I'm going to hit it again. Go for it. Um, you now have advantage because it's stunned. It's stunned, yeah. It, the form simply is still, oh. no longer shifting. Oh, Although the, 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 still, the forms of Osei and Sarivia are still whirling within its claws. It's not as good, it's a 15. A 15 misses. Um, so bonus action, punch it in the head again. Go for it. No! Nope. I'm scared. Advantage. Did you roll oh wait, advantage? I didn't roll advantage. Ah, ah that's much better. <laughs> 21. That'll hit. Yeah! I'm sorry, that would have been so loud on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Dunk! Ah! That was a terrible roll. I think that's a re-roll. I was trying it? to... No, I was trying to... No, I'm going to... I'm going to be fair. I'm going to take it. Roll one of these boxes. Five. A five? Okay. That's fine. It's going. still good damage. My five of, are, out of six. My fists are good. magical. It's fine. You ah, all watch as Amara just silently goes from one point to another and her shadow step uh, form just simply emerges in a wisp of blackness and she quickly strikes three times into the what looks to be the head the red and black head with these eyes that are still floating around of this creature can I please have you make a, an intelligence saving throw Amara this won't go well <laughs> with it man no <laughs> that's no. a four it's a four? Yeah. All right. As you, as you make purchase on this creature, you feel your head jerk back and a pain behind your eyes just shatters and has you just instinctively holding your ear and you look down, there's blood coming out of your ear. Can as I ask what type of damage this it is? It is uh, psychic damage. I have resistance to psychic. Good to know. I'll harp it for you. Uh, that's going to be a, a 12, so it takes 6 points. That's the first time I've gotten to use that resistance nice. in the entire nice. campaign. Um, you take 6 <laughs> points of psychic damage as you are as, you're, as you reel from the pain. Thanks, NBC. Um, <laughs> Rook, you're right. Are you doing anything else, Amara? No. Rook, you're up. Okay, so... Seeing Amara lead the charge, I'm assuming... This, is this a pit, is it? It's not. It's, it's flat ground. It's just. Oh, okay. It has some weird. It does have some weird looking blocks that are, um, and a and a statue in fact on the right hand side in the white and the grey. You haven't taken notice of it yet. Um, it wasn't really. Oh, sorry. It wasn't really um, uh, visible initially with the wind, but as the wind, as this cyclone around it, um, shifts. It does come into view a little bit better. And it is a statue of Ilyadar. Okay. I'm going to run 25 feet up to Ilyadar then, the statue. Sure. And I'm going to cast um, Slayer's Prey on um, our enemy in the middle. All right. And then I'm going to attack it twice with advantage. Go for it. And I am also using Sharpshooter. Absolutely. Do it. Uh, the first shot is probably going to miss at a 14. A 14 misses. Yep. Wow. Um, and then... Uh, is... Are you flying or running? I'm walking. Oh, okay. Just us two then. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, I need to check something, sorry. That's okay. Uh, which is now a 18. 18 points of damage oh, or 18, 18 to hit? hit. Uh, that hits. That hits, okay. Cool. Yeah, Rook. <laughs> With sharpshooter, yeah? With sharpshooter, nice. yeah. So I'm adding 10 to that damage. Um, yeah, you are. 
Oh, can I... I forgot I had the bow. It's up to my... What did I tell you before? It was 14. It was the previous one that we said missed. Um, plus 14 minus 5. Sorry? 14 minus, minus 5? five. Yeah, it would have been a... So to, what, what are we looking at? Still over 20, over 20. It is over 20 to yeah. hit? So, so, yeah. That still hits, yes. So both of them did hit. Absolutely. Okay. Um, Roll your damage. I know, a lot to remember. Sorry about that. Oh, no, no, it's, it is. It's, it's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of bonuses. Uh, I just, I'm too generous to you guys, all right? It's true. You actually are. We take advantage of you. It's true, we do. Uh, 1d8. Okay, we'll just use that. Okay. Structure, that's it. Alright, so. Uh, the first one is. So, damage is. Uh, Amiga 11. 11, alright. And then the next one with. All with the bow, one. yeah? All with the bow, yeah. Cool. And then the next one. Oh, man. Uh, I'm still reading this wrong. Let's say 11 for the first one, and then this one is 3, 10, uh, 12. 12 points of damage. Correct, yeah. Okay. Uh, that was the two arrow strikes. Two arrow it? strikes, yeah. The first one hits a few of these eyes that are floating, and it, it skewers them like a kebab, and delves and, and strikes the creature in what looks to be just part of the flesh of, and, and it, uh, of, of its head, and it just opens it up and you, it reveals like a pink veiny inside and the second arrow almost hits directly next to it and just this big pile of flesh just pulls away from its form and it's just flailing around no blood or whatever excrement coming out of it like a humanoid would but it's just flapping around no um shrieks or pain sounds coming from the creature either yeah what else are you doing um, so that was my bonus action with Slayer movement. That's done. That's Alrighty. It. This creature cannot do anything because it is stunned. Um, but does it make a saving throw or it's just nothing at all? Until the end of my next turn. That's not a problem. Barclays, you're up as this creature is still, still as. So am I floating in the air? You're floating in the air, slowly falling. Okay. Can I slowly fall onto its head? So you are at the moment about 50 feet away. You can spend your your turn floating down more. You as in my movement. Your movement. You can you. How far will I float down? It looks as though you'd be able to control the um, the speed, uh -huh. but it would take a dash action to get to uh, directly above it, as in, in within striking distance. Well, I'll get as close as I can to it, heading straight for its head. Mm -hmm. um, Hell yeah! And then I just. A whisper as best I can and just make it clear that this is your demise and it's an echo 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 demise 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 and it's like an echo right, right. and I'm gonna cast um, um, dissident whispers oh okay um, this thing needs to make a saving throw oh yeah wisdom 16 wisdom uh, 16 uh, it rolled a 16 plus a lot. Um, so uh, it, it rolled over a 16. Right. As the whisper gets molded into the area around you, you all hear the same thing, this weird warble, but not really understanding where it's coming from because only the creature can really understand it. But it seems to not be affected. Okay. Um, then let me just double check. And I've just got a body inspiration pop. Really Good to know. That's me. That's you? Alrighty. Gunner, you're up. Um, this creature... Do we know what it's called yet? Not really? We haven't got a name You've for it? seen a very similar looking creature. But like I'll say for the purposes of this, and remembering what you saw in Dragon's Crown, um, it is a very similar looking shape to a quarry. Okay. And but it, like like a name for it an like, actual name yeah no no okay um <coughs> you missed my incredible rise guys yes uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't use that spell it's a concentration spell um 
when it was attacked, it didn't look like like it was like being a damaged, but it didn't look like it was really affecting it, did it? From your perspective, it seemed as though it certainly did seem like it was taking damage, physical damage. Mm. But yeah. it wasn't bothered by it. Or is it because it's stunned, maybe, that I'm not noticing? It could be one or the other, you're not sure. Okay. Um, did anyone attack the eye Kill it, go. goblets? I just I hit an eye goblet, I think. I was blasphemous, unaffectedly. Did, did, the, <laughs> did the eyes do you damage one of the eyes? Yeah, the arrow went through about four of them yeah. before striking the flesh of this creature. That's not good. Land. And did any of the eyes like make a noise or? Not that you're Why aware of. You, you didn't hear anything. No. <laughs> I mean, there's like a hundred. There's a hundred of them. So. Um. Hmm, okay. Um. Can I see? I yeah. will yeah. fly. I didn't expect him to be that good. Mm-hmm. I almost wish I had him. Toward. Actually, I'm within four. I can, I can do, do my big turn. Hot. <laughs> yeah, I'll cast. Um, I'll cast magic missile. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, at third level. Okay. Um, it has advantage, correct? On each. Because it's stunned still. It is stunned. Mm-hmm. So, because the magic missile I'm casting is Jim's magic missile, I have to roll for each of them. Yeah. So they're Jim? technically. Um, you don't know. Where did Jim come from to shoot magic missile? You don't know. <laughs> um, What's off the screen? You don't know. Screen? Maybe this is like. Uh, so that yeah, is... attack rolls against the creature have advantage, yes. Maybe anybody on the stream for your age, if anyone's played Streets of Rage, Jim's come out just like. <laughs> So five. Oh my god. You played it, haven't you? Yeah. And use your super move. You know really the guy's name. name. The cops show up and they shoot the missile. How do you know his name? It's Jim. It's Jim. Number one. It's police officer Jim. Is. Uh. He's packing rockets. 20? <laughs> uh, yeah, 20 is gonna hit. Number two. Ooh, it's alright. Oh no! Yeah, that's right, it's a kraken! <laughs> 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 does he take a full dice roll? It doesn't. Did it actually land on the kraken? No, it was just a four. So don't take it. I wasn't going to take it regardless. Uh, higher again, so it hits. Higher again, so that's a hit. Give me one bloody 20. That also hits. One more. Two 13s. Uh, that's a hit. Um, With your bonuses, yeah? Yeah, plus nine. Sounds so, good. Yeah. Um, so that is five. Five. five 10d4. Sounds good. What? Yeah, this spell is pretty OP. Oh, man. I, I reckon it's still... <laughs> Unearthed Arcana. Well, hang on. So I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. If I roll a one, they yes. all fail and they blow up in my face. That's true. So, That's true. it's a risk. Yeah, guys, yeah. Let's just thank Jim for this. It's a risk. Jim, thanks, <laughs> thanks so Jim Darklighter. <laughs> That's the name of the person, Jim nice. Darklighter. Um, so, yeah. Go for it. Roll for damage. <laughs> it's only 21. It's only 20. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, you watch as five massive globes of light just shoot out of Gunner and strike this creature in the in the solid body and this wispy back that it seems to have emerging. And it does shift that here and there and just blow chunks out of the flesh. They do... Um, I don't think I've actually explained this because the, there are different magic missile to the normal ones. They actually whistle and hiss like like missiles. Ugh. Like fireworks. Yeah, like fireworks. Like fireworks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. That's so uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. Is that what you're doing, Gunnar? I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Please yeah. do it all the time. No, that's it. All right. Thorum, you're up. Hey. 
Um, Still so flying. I'm flying up in the air, and I can see Osei uh, and Cosa. 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 I can see Osei and oh, so Cerivia. Cerivia. How far away are they from one another? From one another, they are 5, 10, 15 feet away from one another. And how far away am I from them? You're about 30 feet away from them, up in the air. Unless Gunner, actually, um, you were with Gunner. How, what was your intention? How far, how high were you intending to be from below, from this quarry? Um, well, I don't know how high we would have started. That, that um, would have been we would have been you. flying up. Yeah. So in between the time that we started flying, um, um, I, how long would have passed? Probably only 10 seconds. Okay. So we probably only got about 40 feet up max. Yep. yep so you're um, 40 feet in the air. Let's, 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 uh, work on that. Yeah. So I would have, that. I would have done the same thing but yeah. I would make sure to stay within 30 feet yeah of that. Really. got it yeah actually no I don't need to I, no. I can actu actually cast magic missile from more than that so yeah I probably Correct. would be about 60 feet okay from it okay so Thorum just put 60 feet as okay so that's my he can system. he can fly on his own I don't yeah, need to control in, in your movement you can if you yeah. want to move no problem okay but I would so I'm going to move my full 30 feet forward so that I'm 30 feet away from the both of them are you directly down? No, just forwards through the air. Just right. Maintaining the same distance. Sure. You're probably just basically just one one uh, <laughs> five foot square beyond Gunner, but go for it. You are now within that. That's lovely. Okay. Um. So they're both hanging there unconscious. No. It, it, their eyes are open. They're blinking. They are looking around in fear as their bodies are being manipulated and woven by this weird creature's magic. Okay. So, do you remember a long, long time, a couple of sessions ago, when we were in Ragat Cell's shop, and I made those little bundles of bone and flesh, and I wrapped them up and stashed it with me? Now, they weren't refrigerated or anything. How do they look now? As you, as you pull them out to inspect them, a, a couple of days have passed, and, and you see them in... You start, you look, you inspect them. They, they seem to have a little bit of green on the meat starting to occur. Oh, good. Uh, a bit of a whiff of... Bit of cheesy? What, what would you... What, yeah, you describe it as cheesy or like worm, like worms, That's like good. squished worm. Little worms in there? Yeah. Yeah. Worms. yeah. Um, excellent. So I'm going to grab these two rotting worm-infested pieces of meat. And I'm going to hold them up and on at fifth level, on the both of them, I'm going to cast... Banishment. So I attempt to send one creature that I can see within range to another plane of existence. <laughs> <laughs> um, if the target is native, they're banished. But if the target is native to a different plane of existence than the one you're on, the target is banished with a faint popping me. noise, returning to its home. Homie. Wait. Duration? Up to one minute. Yeah, she has to maintain concentration for one minute. Yep. Okay. You watch, and you all watch, as suddenly this twisting forms of Cerivia and Osei disappear from view. With Thorum, is, is there a somatic component? Do you speak the spell? Let me have a quick check. Just a S in there somewhere. Yes. Oh, sorry, V for verbal. Yes. V, cool. Yes. yes you yes, all yes. do hear Thorum um, <laughs> cast a spell <laughs> at the same moment that both the cap the captives have <laughs> vanished. Mm. Um, I'm going to yell down to Amara mostly because it's your companion. Well, that you care the most. <laughs> okay. Well, about their lives. She does. She does care the most. The true. It's true. Oh, I'm going to yell down. They're safe, but only for a time. Let's kill this thing! That's it, and that's my turn. Alright, back up to the top, Amara, you're up. How's it looking? It's looking hurt. It's looking like there's some flesh chunk, uh, chunks of flesh out of it, but it, you also notice that from the chunks of flesh, this weird steam seems to be emerging, as though it's, it's being cooked. But you're not quite sure if that's the 
the way that this creature would be in pain or, or how the wounds e- emerge from it. It's just a very weird species. Well, I only have until the end of my turn to make the most <laughs> of this. So I am going to just like boom, 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 boom. Go for it. <laughs> Attack with the staff and fists. Yeah, you fist it. Oh. Thank you. I knew it. One of us um, had to. It's okay. <laughs> At advantage, the first one was uh, 22. That'll hit. Yeah, well. That is not a DA. I'm losing all of my dice. There's so many of them. Um, uh, not the greatest damage. Six for the first one. Um, yeah. Was that yeah, but I roll it advantage. Oh, um, right. The second attack is an 18 plus 8. I think that'll just um, hit. So that'll absolutely also hit. Oh, far out. Oh, that <laughs> Five points of damage. Five points. Um, bonus action, I'm going to flurry of blows yep. and just wail on it. Alright. Um, so I am going to make my first one. Uh, yeah. So it's, again, it's an 18... Plus, um, mm-hmm. That hits. Yeah. Uh, max damage for that one. It is nine points of damage for the first punch. Mm-hmm. Um, seventeen plus eight. Hits. And that is eight points of damage. Okay. So basically, you just see Amara like, stop, <laughs> stop, punch, miss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's um, good. Yeah. Um. Okay. And then I'm going to flavor. No, it's. I can do this. It's not even. It doesn't even take an action. I'm gonna say in its head. I'm gonna be like, "Fuck with me." <laughs> this is what I'm gonna say. Can I ask right. you a question. Was it a con save that he had to make for for of Flies? Okay. I mean for. Ah, um, uh, wouldn't know that, but no. Preston would know that. Yes, it yeah, was yeah. a con save. Yeah. Amara. I need you to make another intelligence saving throw as you feel this pain at the back of your head intensify. As this creature, even still, seems to be some this. somewhat <laughs> I don't got this. focused on the person that's closest to it. But I have resistance, so it's okay. Yeah, so it's still another six points uh, with, that, uh, with the resistance on, like included. So it's six points for you of psychic damage. As you feel this, this slick red liquid being uh, moved out and then and, and touched it, it just a little bit of blood still there okay i'm gonna <clears throat> flick it away yeah all right uh i want to look as tough as i can like i want to <clears throat> look like i'm unbothered even though i'm very bothered make a deception check for me please <laughs> hey, hey it was good it was a 17 17 okay where's my defense <laughs> Okay. You, you feel as though you are putting on a good show. I hope so. Uh, that's your turn? Yes. As you finish the barrage of attacks against oh, this no. creature, trying to strike the same spot as Rook's arrows are uh, uh, pierced, you watch as this creature suddenly just rises and its worm-like form shifts again and is moving in a very erratic and... Uh, violent movement just random all over the place um it is now unrestrained from the stun effect yes rook you're up all right i read my rules <laughs> i won't slow this down That's okay. um i'm casting um hunter's mark yep and i'm making two attacks um oh. that's not gonna hit that's 16 minus five that is not going to hit. hit. And the second shot. Oh my god, we're low rolls again. Um, 14. No, not gonna miss. Hit. Yeah. And <clears throat> I am going to just move a little bit further. Just one step back, one five foot to the right hand side. Okay. Oh, yeah. Behind the. Yeah. Hoping for cover of some description. Yeah, you'll get probably half cover from any, any yeah. physical attacks. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. That's my turn. That's you. Yep. Yeah. All righty. <clears throat> this creature is now going to rise up more and more, and 
its form now takes on a large, um, a, a large shifting mass of red and black. These eyes follow it upward, floating around it as it gazes upon each of you. It then stirs and looks towards you and in your mind through him you hear a You seem powerful. I need you to make a charisma saving throw, please, Thor. Oh, that's what I'm best at, charisma. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, really? For, for one second. I can make that save for you. It's not his worst. I believe worst. it. That is mm. a 13. 13 for a charisma saving throw. Yeah. Okay. Look how happy the <laughs> daylight looks. I can't do it. Every time he looks happy, I know it's bad. As you all watch, this creature disappears and then you hear from the direction of Thorum this voice yes was go it for it was it a spell okay it was not you're like it is... fuck you and your counter spell <laughs> no no look it, 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 it isn't um, I, I would absolutely no, give you that opportunity but what I know, uh, I know. A, a physical spell but this is an ability you all hear from Thorum's lips and you all look over and you see his eyes are no longer his as his voice changes and shifts from a bra to a <laughs> He is powerful. Thorum, for the purposes of this, you are... Dead. You are... <laughs> your actions are no longer yours. Any attack that you make must be with the full intention of harming your friends. You no longer have control of your body. Sweet. So just be aware, um, for now, use the full force of Thorum because that is what the quarry is going to do. Can I just say that my entire like speech for the last two sessions has been, Hey, don't breathe fire at me again! <laughs> No! So, Rook, just, uh, just to catch you up, yep. the shifting yeah. beast has Such a disappeared, and Thorum has um, seemed to be, his He's eyes are glowing red, and you see that, that out of Thorum's scaled skin, emerging and popping out like sickly orbs, these eyes are forming around it as it seems to be as, as Thorum doesn't seem to be in possession of his faculties so like he's pooping himself yeah you pooping <laughs> I am if you're the, wondering <laughs> <laughs> um that's all it can do this turn so Barclays you're up oh great um uh, yeah this is your decision to save him <laughs> yeah well, you so said we should consider that big shape not there at the moment. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it. Thank you very You're much. You're the only person that can actually save you. Yep. <laughs> can <laughs> I just like yell out? What just happened? Do we recognise that Thorum has been like possessed? You all see. You you all heard the voice come from Thorum. Now you see his eyes are red, and you see from his scales popping out eyes similar to this creature that you had just come up against. Can I ask? Thorum, like, give me a wink if you know who I am. Um, can I like roll my eyes back up into my head and just blah, wide-eyed. Sure. That's a no. Barclays, it's, it's Thorum. It's got Thorum. Alright. This is not good. Let's see what we can do to keep our friend intact and sort this out somehow. Um, I'm going to. Oh, sorry. Go. go oh, no, you go. You go. <laughs> no, it's your turn. Turn. It's yeah, your turn. turn. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, so. <laughs> where is? He? Yeah, I know. Where is he? He's over there. Yeah, the room. Just need to kill him. <laughs> just need to kill him. Okay. Oh, I can't move anymore. Um. So, okay, so I move over to <laughs> where Rook is. I can move you. Not Rook. Sorry, I'm Thorum. So Rook? Thorum is still is still. Up, he's still about forty. So, about can I go to him? Yes, you can. You can fly. I will go to him. Go for it. Yeah. Huh. And as hard as I possibly can, give him a kiss. I'm gonna slap him in the face. 
Like, snap out of it, boy. Look, <laughs> are you are you intending to, to, to damage him? Are you making an unarmed strike? Or are you yeah, just... yeah, unarmed strike. It's got to be hard. All I'm right. being business. Snap out of it. Make an attack roll. Good. <clears throat> Against that this good AC. Is it a one? No, it's a three. You're not. Uh, you're miss. You're miss. So that would be an eight. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's buddy. You're using the armor class of of Thorum, so that does not. Be, oh, Thorum's AC. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's a bit bigger than that. <laughs> not Let's bad. see if I have a bonus action. <laughs> Do what MVCDM suggested and make out with him. Give him gifts. Yeah, that would be my action. You already like, did. Like you just used your action. For a decent yeah, make-out. Would have been, been a whole action. Why is yeah. there always a slap? Why don't you just be like... Hey, wait. I'm, I get um, two attacks. You do get two actions, yeah. yes. Yeah. Ha! Oh my God. So my oh, other attack. Come in. Oh, how yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you okay? Does he get advantage because it's his first session back? <laughs> That's a nat one. <laughs> Um, Catch it. Look, you can, can you explain as a DM why I was not able to hit him? As Barkley <laughs> goes towards and, and moves <laughs> his hand towards Thorum, you are you, you take a moment and you realize what you are actually doing. You're about to hit your best one of your best friends, and I'm you cool just, with that. you actually stop. You hold, really and for a second you're doubtful, but then the glowing eyes reappear, and your second strike is stopped by the hand of Thorum, this claw holds you now tight. You're grappled. You're not grappled, I'm but you getting... are held in place. Dead. Oh, He's got those man, puppy, you now. puppy dog not, dragon eyes. That's not good, man. I'm touching you. That's like half my spells. <laughs> <laughs> Inflict wounds. Yeah. At 80th level. And I think, it, yeah, he's up soon. All right, that's me. That's, that's, that's all me. you can do. Yeah, we're right. hands. Gunner, what are you doing as you see this? action and uh, take place. Um, ooh, how high up am I now? 60 feet, aren't I? You're about 20 feet away from Thor. Uh, but I'm 60 feet off the ground. Correct. Correct. Mm, 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 mm. Cool, 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 cool. Um, oh, buddy, I don't have anything to help you. Um, Her meal? Yeah, <laughs> both of you. Um, <laughs> Wait, isn't is Thorum still in the air or is he? F He's still in the air. How did he? Because I'm in the air too. Oh. Bar Barclays in, is, is, is in the air, but not from your powers. Oh, he's flying on his own own abilities. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know if this. If I if I can I is it possible to break my concentration on fly and just break it on one of us or do I have to end it on both let's have a quick look for you because I think I just have to like end the entire spell look it's it's probably going to be that since it is a um a third level spell fly 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 flow uh <laughs> da -da 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 -da. What? concentration <laughs> up to 10 minutes uh and and it was your choice to essentially target an additional creature so it does have to be on all Okay, I'll cast Fly on myself one more time, and I won't cast it on anyone else. So I break my concentration to recast Fly, and so Fulram will you're essentially dropping. drop. But um, we're holding hands. Yeah, he's holding him, so I don't know what happens there. Yeah, at that point, if it was my genuine intent, I would not let go. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm cool, I'm cool with that. Thorum, I'm gonna slap you eventually. <laughs> you hear? You you are without control of your fact of your body but you do you're still hey, there John. but you do feel this hand not let go and you as try as you might you can't un unclasp it as you fall and uncontrollably Barclays you are simply tied to this as you both are you I can I can I'll let you do something you can try once to try and ungrapple if you want to I'm gonna write him down all right. So, so I'm going to try and get behind him and just ride him down like a 
Go like ahead. a dragon. I was gonna try and do the same. I was gonna try. Oh, and I'm gonna use my acrobatics to do that. Look, I'm gonna get you to do your acrobatics check and you to do your whatever is it your strength check? That's probably your best. I could do animal handling, but no, I'll go with that. That's kind of it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, so one check against the other, please. This is supposed to be a serious intent. It's okay. We're having fun. Keep up a bardic. That's a 13, so... Oh, okay, okay great, cool. <laughs> Don't do it. 15. All right. So as you both tussle with the very few seconds you have to crash into the ground, Barclays, you get the upper hand and you melt Thorum on the back. Yeah, he does. Thorum, you, you, you are head first the into dragon. the ground. Is, Is anyone recording this, like, like magically? <laughs> I'm watching. Yeah, Gunnar's got his yeah. mic. <laughs> <laughs> now, this You're is doing from great, your sweetie. hit points. You take five points of bludgeoning damage as you crash into the ground. You are unaffected. Yeah. But he does not let go. That's, That's okay. okay, but he's. Does he look any different? Does he look like for a second he's come back for a second? And then, oh, it's Good. It's going to be a big slap. Man. So, with that. Um, Good. Does he have to roll it? You turn, Gunner. Gunner, you're still up. What are you doing? You had, you had cast a spell once more. You are still aloft. You see both forms crash into the ground. What else do you, what else do you want to do? I'm going to be a total asshole and ask this question. Does he have to roll a con save? Because he's concentration on... That is a very good question. You, you're not... Um, it's not bad of you to ask. No. Um, so for the purposes of this, just bear, bear in mind that um, for now, uh, it, it's not needing a constitution. Okay, right. no worries. Um, with the rules that are, uh, that are written. So. No worries. But, but it's great for that to ask, so thank you. Um, I don't think I have anything else I can do. I will just fly up another 30 feet. Thanks, sure. Bro. Absolutely. Just going up even just higher. Like in the air. Yeah, Gunner's about See 90 you. feet in the air. All right. Gunner's it's okay, right. I can still do stuff from up here. That's all right. Can I just say, Trav Prime just said, you know, if you beat the ground with sticks, worms are drawn to the surface, so everyone grab a stick. Why what? words were never spoken, Trav? Thank you so much. Really? Is that I true? Like is that, that, that is true. Yeah. But why? They're like, ah, it's so loud! Well, let, let, let's let's, let's um, discuss this and debate it later. <laughs> well, these, these enemies are worms, are they not? What? Yeah. Worm, you don't, you don't know. Worm-like worm 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 in appearance. I'm, 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 I'm feeling we see sheet. Uh, so, yeah. the, 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 the secret vice is whacking. So, I, I did forget to mention as well, with, uh, with, the, with the actions just before Gunner had emerged and just before Barclays as well, as the creature had entered the mind and body of Thor, you will watch as... Thorum's arms just go wide beside him on either side and reappearing with the concentration spell now, oh not concentration, well it is concentration spell, now ineffective, reappear twirling within the fingers of Thorum, Osei and Cerivia once more. Oh. So, Cerivia and Osei have reappeared much sooner than Thorum had anticipated or had said. Now with your turn done, Thorum, you're up. Sweet. So I am compelled magically to attack my companions and friends. And I have no choice but to do that as though it was my genuine desire. Alright, let's do that then. Is he gonna do it with like vengeance? Gonna do like to put if you'd like to put vengeance like, is he as, like level five. That is completely <laughs> up to him. Um, um, however, I would ask that you do, um, yeah, you, you know, you, you play it as, as smartly as you can. Go for it. See what you got. Smart. Level five. five. See what you got. <laughs> you, you, you attack, attack the wizard. Don't worry. Um, Squishes. <laughs> so, how far above me is Ghana? 90 feet. 90 feet? Yeah. Suck my nuts. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's why I moved away. It was like this is 
Yeah, it's, it's a bed. dangerous place to be. It's a bed. <laughs> it's a real bed. <laughs> Lovely. Um, and Amara is like 30 feet away. Right, Ooh, okay. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you were trying to slap me earlier, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to Thorum, who's going yeah. to <laughs> gently let go of Bartley's forearm before delivering an absolutely vicious backhand on arm strike. That's my primary action. Go for it. That's, That's reasonable. reasonable. That is an... With unarmed, you don't really add anything to it, do you? Well, you should have a bonus for it. 21. Yeah. That's a 21 to hit. Oof. Also, um, while this is happening, thank you, Voikuban, for subbing um, to oh, the channel. Oh. What a legend. Thank you, Voikuban. Uh, we've also had Raging Rolls subscribe to the channel. Oh, Raging Rolls! We've also so had um, Trav Prime subscribe. Dude, oh, thank you so much. Thank you guys. so much. Thank you much so appreciate it. Wow, so good. Yeah, I'm guys. guys. Thank you. These yeah. guys are doing an amazing yeah. job. That's probably the reason. No. 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 <laughs> And thank you for, for mentioning about the the name of the the, uh, the the subject of the stream. The stream. I'll try and fix that. Yeah, well. this is hey. Call of Duty. Sorry, everyone knows. I swear uh, I changed it, but that's okay. Um, Go for it. DM you. Do have to do a little dance? I'm sorry. Do I? Okay. Yes. Um, I don't know. You know, I've done the Macarena, but I'll just do a. Oh, nice. Oh, this, this one, one says, says true. Do a little dance, dance, make a little love. love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You get way good. more dance length with Michele than you do with me. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more yeah. Enjoy. Money. Um, that substance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Thor? I'm going to absolutely scream. What did you roll? That's it. I rolled a, a 18. 21. Oh, okay. And plus my modifier is 21. Yeah. I mean, sure. It is. Okay. Um, so you take like four points of damage then. Wow, that was Four shit. points of unarmed strike damage. Yeah. Of, of, of That's safe. Uh, That's and, safe. and because uh, that was a physical attack and not a spell, I can use my bonus action oh, no. to cast spiritual weapon at Amara. Is, is that, that a spell? spell? That is what a... What the fuck? Yeah, second level evocation. I would like to invoke my mage slayer feet. Ooh, what that? When a creature within five feet of you casts a spell, when you can use your react, you can use reaction to make a melee weapon attack against the creature. And when you damage a creature that is concentrating on a spell, that creature has disadvantage on the saving throw it makes to maintain its concentration. That could be for you. This does not require uh, concentration, so I'll still take the attack. Yes, yeah, but something's, something's concentrating. So you're attacking me? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you? Yes, genuinely. Yes, but, but I still get the With a spiritual weapon? Yes. So that is That's a bad, 26 to hit. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Is. Whale. Um, so that is... What does it look like again? Uh, it is a giant... So my spiritual weapon takes is a uh, corporeal mace. It's like my mace, but a little bit bigger um, and a little bit more ornate with gold. And it comes, it erupts out of nothingness with a flash of golden light and flies towards Amara. And does... Got all those little charms on the end as well. Eight points of damage. Eight points. Oh, gold to get your oh, charm yeah. right. Right. I still get to whack him though. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Go for it. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to upgrade my, um, my slapping. I'm going to hit him with my, with my sword. Okay. But with the scabbard on. All right. So it'd be more like bludgeoning, which I don't know what will be. But Correct. Um, we'll we'll see that. It, it would simply change it to bludgeoning. Let's just see if we can hit him first. Go for it. I think that's a good start. <laughs> um, bring him back. We don't have that anymore. He's a big guy. Anyway, let's we'll see what happens. So. Oh, hello. All right. So that is um twenty-one. That hits. Ooh. Hell yes. Nice. What type of damage? Yeah, do take me down. Bludgeoning. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but, but like, what should it be? Like, like the, the, just body. the the same, same damage, damage but bludgeoning, bludgeoning instead of yes. slashing? Correct. Great. Okay, okay cool. cool. Well, then you, you're, you're going to take... Uh, let me just do that. Eight. Eight back. Ooh, nice. Yeah. 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 Wow. 
Anything else you're doing? Yeah, yeah like, wake, wake up. Do I wake up? Nothing Wake me up. Nothing wake at all. me up inside. No, he doesn't like. There is, there is nothing yeah, that is, up. there is no save at the moment that is required, but he is still in, in, in trapped. Thorum, do you have any other things you can do? Um... You made an action and a bonus action. That's it. That is... This is the Matrix soundtrack. Is oh, that what this is? I have no. actually... No, I, think so. I still have my movement, don't I? But it yes, sounds like it. So, despite the fact that I'm standing between them, I'm going to lift my mace up <laughs> in an aggressive, menacing manner. And out of nowhere, distorted and without making any sense, I'm going to scream out, For Edo! And not really care about the opportunity attack and charge straight at Rook. All right, Move so into combat distance, ending my turn. For this purpose, because Gunny, you're higher, Barclays, you're the only person that can make another opportunity attack against him. So go for it. Can I use that opportunity attack to latch onto him? To grapple me, yeah. Are you trying to stop him or move with him? Move with him. <clears throat> Are you going to try and resist it? As in like... Are you, it, it's in your probably it's in your best interest to try and resist it. Yeah, if he goes to grab me, I'll like try and. Yeah, I'll let you do it then. If it's if it's instead of an attack, sure. I don't mind where he goes. I'm just hanging on. Sure. Yeah. In which case, again, acrobatics versus um, strength. Okay. The highest two. I can do this every day of the week. Seventeen. Twenty-three. Hey. All right, Michael. <laughs> you. Yeah, I go where no. you go, my friend. You move simply one square over, um, five feet, because you're within attacking range of him again, mm -hmm. uh, diagonally. Mm -hmm. uh, diagonally. Diagonally. Sorry. 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 I got it. I understood straight away. As soon as you said it, I was like. <laughs> Whilst this is kind of happening, I'm just like, dude, snap out of it. Get out of it. I'm, actually, I don't know if I'd say dude. Is that a collo colloquial. Yeah, it's dragon. He yeah, says, you can say that to me. He yeah. says bra. I do say that quite often. Snap dude, out of it, bra. That's how, yeah. That's bra. How, hey, that's bra. How bra. Like, bra. Yeah, that <laughs> bra. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Dragonborn's um, definitely are the dude bros of the Eberron world. Nothing seems to yes, change. No. Amara, you're up. Yes, I am. Whoa, I would like to shadow step. Yep. Is Rook ro far out? Mm -hmm. Is Thorum still in the air or is he on the ground now? I know he came down. Is he back up? No, you didn't. Ground, you didn't. Yeah, yeah you'd, he'd be on the ground because that's where Rook is. I'm that's going to um, shadow step to <laughs> where I just moved to. Thank you. Um, and I will get advantage on my first attack yeah, because yes, I are. shadow stepped. Correct. I'm going to grab my staff and smack him in the back of the head. Go for it. Um, and neither of them are going to hit. All right. But yeah, my, my second attack, I'm going to... Smack him. Do are we flanking at the moment? Yep. Hell yeah! So I'll get advantage again. Go for it. That's better. It won't hit though because I think I know his armor class. Nineteen to hit. It's a nineteen to hit, Thorum. Does that? that does not hit. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, bonus sorry. action. I'm gonna try and punch him in the back of the head. Okay, go for it. Like a shark. Oh, Ooh, that's. Can you please, can you both please confirm that that is cocked? That's cocked. That's not cocked. No, right. It is. Oh. It's, it's, more it's on, on my it's iPad. If you want, it's cocked. If you want, you can roll again. It's, it's on my iPad. I'm... In which case, please roll again. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you wish it was cocked. None of them would have hit, so right. it's fine. Um, and in Thorum's head, Thorum's head, I'm going to say, hey, we're your friends. Stop. If I had any ability to stop, hey. I certainly would. All right. Hey, I'm your friend. The words do, you recognize the voice, Thorne. But weirdly enough, you, you don't know who uh, is speaking. You're looking at this person and... They are simply, they are simply a thing, a thing of flesh, a weak mind and body that needs to die here. So they do not resonate with you. So, anything else, Amara? 
I'm going to just take a moment and pray. <laughs> and I'm going to, like, I'm going to not say out loud, even though I generally do. I'm going to say, Sonari, Sonari Alina, bless you. this is really difficult. Please help. That would be good. Bring back the room. Make a wisdom check, please. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. Could be a good one. I mean, it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky. It's a 12. It's 12? Okay. Dice jail. Oh, terrible. You hear. Should be okay. At the statue, close to you. you sort of peek around because you almost see it another person running their hand around the statue and recognize the face as the face and the body emerge Akashtar by the name of Vishara simply moving around the statue in more of a contemplative thought and as they go into your uh, vision they look at you without smile smiling without emotion and you hear in your mind bring Cortana here too and that's all you that's all you know so with that uh, Arook you're up um okay so Previously, I had Hunter's Mark and Slayer's Prey. Is that still affecting? In fact, it is. And that's your awareness to think that this creature is within Thorum himself. So they are both still active. Um, does it take an action to talk? No. Would I be right in knowing that um, the mace with um, Thorum, which I knew King Brom and Brom Nell gave to him, mm -hmm. and was there with him at the church, speaks to him. Um, and Dragon's Crown. So, without, um, with oh, obviously, aside from your position at the moment, Thorum, prior to this, did you, did you remember mentioning anything about the communication? Nothing like detailed. Like a long while ago when we were in Shan, I had talked about how it, was, it had like a spirit, a spirit in it, but I never spoke about anything it said. Mm. So that's how you know that it does. Yeah, that there is a that there's a possible sense. Yeah, one, that there's yeah, a spirit times. in it. That there is a spirit in it. I do recall now you mentioning that there is a spirit within the mace. Um, to what effect that is, you're not sure. I was quite flippant about it. Mostly, yeah. I just talked about how it was no worries. I could handle it. Correct. <laughs> Can we try some RP? Yeah, go for it. Um, where am I? So I'm like up in front. You right. watch as yeah. Thorum pulls Barclays. It's <laughs> like he's pulling Barclays towards you and Thorum is toe-to-toe. -to -toe. His red eyes are piercing within you. Um, I clenched tight on the bow that I have mm -hmm. and kind of like take a take a stance like I'm going to dodge mm -hmm. Thorum can you hear me there's no reply from him Enedo you'd let your champion fall to such a deception I've seen no true power in you ah oh, sweet that'll work <laughs> <laughs> Can you do me a favor and make a religion check, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse. Could be, it could be worse, actually. Ah, uh, 12. A 12? Okay. For a moment, you almost feel a presence. A whirling, draconic creature that you've never seen before flash in your mind. An angry beast of colourful scales, but then it disappears. Um, I'll continue on and 
I've paid no stock in the, the gods, and yet I've still been saved from death. And you can't even pull your champion away from this charm. Do what you can and save him, or I'll have to inevitably end him. Okay. Um, no, and- other re- no other <laughs> response greets you at the moment. Shit. <laughs> and at that, I am going to do an opportunity attack. I'm going to come around the side. About 50, oh, just a little cheeky 10 feet behind the statue. I can move him. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's Thorin, you, do, uh, you are able to make one melee attack against him. And I get to also attack if he does attack. Because Sweet. it's sentinel. Yep, absolutely. Does he have a disadvantage? No. No. It just means I get to fuck him up. To 11. 11 to hit, and misses. Yeah. And then I'm gonna drop oh, two. Wait, oh, yeah. Let me roll. <laughs> oh. Am I still flanking? Uh, sure. yeah. Yeah, you are because Barclays is there. Nope. Okay. So both <laughs> miss. Two and a three. As a rule, you are too Yay. quick for, for either of them to react. What, do you, what else are you doing? Uh, making two attacks without sniper. Okay, go for it. Uh, so. 22. Hey! And I'll roll the other one. Oh. Can I take that? <laughs> yeah, it's, yes. it's a roll. Any roll on the table, whether in the box not, or not. Um, if, it's, if it's cocked between two numbers. Or on the ground. Yeah. It's very much over 20, so. Alright. Okay. Um, You're keeping an eye on your own hit points through? Yes, I am. Cool. So that's 12, 13. And that's um, eight. So 13 plus eight? Oh, sorry, uh, nine. Nine. 22 points of Dang. piercing damage. Oh, that's with two arrows? That's two arrows, arrows yeah. yeah. Um, and not bloody, that's for sure. Like, none. Can I take a little dodge action? No, he's, he's, he's stabbing his friend. I remember how he just got rid of the joke, so we should. And, and just Is that what you're doing? Yeah, that's what you're doing. Alright, hopefully taking that long. We should have done that. Your watch as Rook quickly scatters away from, from this little that. group, yeah. turns, yeah. and the first arrow from this silver metallic um, uh, bow that seems to be made with made within his fist, he seems to just backwards take a quick glance and fire behind him, striking Thorum in the shoulder. And the second, he say, turns. As that second shot goes, I say, um, still whisper underneath that, that pool. Um, Onatar, Guy Ada. All right. And as that second arrow, the second arrow fires, it hits a similar spot in Thorum's shoulder, more towards the chest. As you do hear Thorum, Ugh! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'd say, yes. <laughs> Pretty much it. Um, and with that, uh, this uh, creature goes next. Uh, actually, no, it's no longer at the moment. Um, Barclays, you're up. All right, I try and um, I try and contact Thorum. Like, Thorum, can you hear me? Anything? Oh, I'm not looking at the screen. Thorum, again, you hear the voice of a familiar figure in front of you, but you don't, you don't recognize it. I don't know who he is. He seems simply a threat to your very existence here. And he does not respond. Mm. This music is so tense. I know. <laughs> I'm like... And the guitar's like, ooh. <laughs> My anxiety <laughs> is just like... <laughs> <laughs> I just say again, as a, as a message, I'm like, I'm sorry, my friend, but we need to help you here. We need to possibly... Um, Inflict some wounds in aggressive negotiations. Um, and then I again whisper to whoever's inside there, you best come out. Meet your demise. And I try to send whispers again. Go okay. For this for the purposes of this then this creature stays with its own saving throws. Oh but what about actually it's, his is pretty good though. It is, it is how it is written. Um, <laughs> it's so, how the DM has written it. No, not me. <laughs> the, rule, the rule's in the book. 
Um, so, uh, Here's I'm, the thing, this is Michele's world. Mm. <laughs> okay, so that is a 23 in total. Still whispering. <laughs> whispering until my next turn. Um, yeah, that, that'll be it. Okay. Alright, so with that gunner. I'm still so latched onto him, by the you way. You are, you're yeah. not moving. Yeah. What are you doing, gunner? Um, oh, bloody I really think you should. Bloody hell. <laughs> nah. See, you're still full room. As far as he understands. The only one of us that would happily have attacked one of their party members is me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the wrong person to be possessed. There's one opportunity. Yeah. Also, the only one who could probably has the spell to end this also is... Why is it always me? Because <laughs> you're weak. Didn't, didn't we see oh. full room get... I think stuff that. Uh, That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You did say this was an ability as well, I, right? I always say it's considered damage. not a spell. So it means like it's the one that gets turned on the so, you, like, so if you try to just dispel a spell... I think we're talking about luck as a whole. You'd ah. assume that... It, 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 I mean, you would know Chris, not you would not know Barclays, but... I can help Barclays find out. You probably could. You probably <laughs> right. this, is a, this is a difficult metagaming session. That, I know, it is, I know. Yes, but that's yeah. okay. Do you know what? I'm here for it. How... Otherwise it's going to be a long pillow fight. <laughs> yes. Hey, no, I tried to appease to Ado. What's the tallest <laughs> object in the vicinity? At the <laughs> moment, the tallest object is a oh twenty-foot high statue. Yeah, bring the statue down, down on top of it. <laughs> is that that thing that they're all standing near? Yes. Yeah. Is that Ilyana? It looks to be her. I mean, sorry. Is that what you referred to as Ilyana? Correct. I probably don't know that as Gunnar. Um. Uh, Don't smash it. Don't smash it. I know we'll like to smash it. So please stop smashing. <laughs> Are you okay? Like, blue up? What were you doing last night? Just a disclaimer for everyone watching at home. Ben has gone back to store work versus yes, at home work. And he is tired. Mm. So, so Gunner's go, yeah. Yeah, gonna, yeah. <laughs> so Gunner's gonna just yell out to everyone. What what did I do? I don't know what to do. Cool, I'm not gonna do anything then. I'm not sure. I keep yelling at him and nothing happens. Can anyone check? Maybe we should. See if there's anything else that would be more effective. Can I do it? I'm not gonna do anything. Myself? On your turn, you can. Shots. I'm not going to do anything. What's that? I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything? No. Guys, did you, just to clarify, did you guys hear what Gunnar said? He's, He's not, not doing anything. anything. No, no, before that. He did yell something out towards you guys. Can I say, like, can you make me more powerful? <laughs> no! He, he just, he just <laughs> asked <laughs> so what he should do. How high up are you? He asked what he should do. He like 90, 90 feet. feet. Yeah. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> I, is I was looking at my pretty stuff. high. I, That's okay. That's right. I'm not too sure if I'd react because I'm, I'm only like 30 meters. Toe to toe with a not even that friend of combatant. Gunner, we need to hurt him, but not lethally. Yes, I agree. I'm conflicted. I'm not doing anything this round. Okay, good to know. So, do you say anything, or do you just? But not I've, react? I've I've been talking for a bit. Like, no, I mean in response. No, I've like I've said a few things. I'll wait till the next round to respond. Okay. There, there'll be a free action anyway, so that's okay. That's all right. I if, can't if, think of anything to say. Right. That's okay. No problem. <laughs> so, so wait no, until no, next turn. That's okay. With that, Thorum. Sweet. You are up. Um. So you've all felt the healing light of Edo many times, each of you. Um, <laughs> you also <laughs> this time. Well, I'm um, this time <laughs> when that light infuses and. In, Leaks out of the different gaps Ooh. in Thorum's armor, you notice that it's a sickly, dissonant light. It doesn't look like it normally does. However, the effect is still the same. And you notice that the vastest majority of the wounds that you have inflicted, don't look at my health, that you have inflicted <laughs> is undone. Um, now, that is not a spell. That's uh, an ability, yeah. technically. Good to know. Um, no ability. <laughs> um, which means I still have my spiritual weapon 
Ah. So, how far away is Rook? So, Rook is 15. About, can I get it around that statue? What's it's, the distance? 35. 30, it's 35 in a straight line, and it is a corporeal kind of weapon, so I'd like to imagine it could just fly through that statue. But So, Rook is 40 feet away from it? Yeah, he's within range. So that, the spiritual weapon's going to move. Hey. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I'm to ask you something, but you wouldn't help us out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, and I'm going to, yeah, take that attack. Go for it. Oh, and it misses, fortunately. Okay. Well, yeah, damn straight. Right. Yeah, no, it's you're a nice. disappointment to you. It's pretty simple for Aiden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, at this point, Thorum, you suddenly, as Thorum, feel this immediate and desperate hunger and you have your arms out as you are summoning this mace to attack these these creatures that have invaded your home and you look to your left and you see twirling within your fingers in a long shape Cerivia, and you look to your right hand and you see this creature that they call Osei within your grasp as well and you feel that you must choose one for the threat that you have given must not go undone and on your next turn you must choose one for without, you will, you know as your kind, you will simply be too weak of a creature to stand up to this defense of your home. Am I, just a quick question, am I choosing with the motivation and perspective of Thorum or am I choosing with the motivation and perspective of this creature? You are currently choosing from the perspective of it, it's actually for this purpose this one time i'll get you to do a wisdom saving throw please in spite of him well actually <laughs> question does, does the creature have to still like concentrate to achieve what it's doing or it just does it without concentration again as a metagaming rule i will i will mention what's going on yeah okay. this ability does not require concentration it is not a spell, therefore, only spells require concentration and then therefore concentration checks to be able to overcome and resist that sort of, um, this sort of thing. Um, at the moment, this is an innate ability like you would at Barclays if you were to simply think about walking. It, right, is, it is just something that you can do. Being handsome and giant. Exactly right. It is a natural ability. <laughs> I got an 18. An 18. As you are thinking of these two beings that are beside you, and they are floating, you can feel their energy, you can feel their fear, their hopes, their wants, their goals. You can feel Cerivia, this tabaxi, wanting to simply escape from this place and help the Kalashtar become whole again and you feel hate as you as your mind delves into that can, sorry can, can we, we see like is there actually something, something tethered to yes. this and like a string like like it's like it cannot go it's past a certain up. radius right and was there anything mentioned like initially or anything like that that suggests that it can't be cut? They're not sure. Mm. When I perceived it, the monster itself was more solid and the what was happening was did, more... Did you just say it was ethereal? It, no, the, the no, not ethereal specifically, yeah. but... ...are blurry. Yeah, not, okay. They don't appear to be solid. Uh-huh. And, but, but did, did the, the creature, creature make any statement about... To that effect? No. The other hand... You, you feel the feelings of this Osei, this woman that they have uh, uh, that they have had a liking to. You can feel her fear for the group in front of you. 
You can feel her fear for returning and her goals of undoing a certain creature called a vampire and her and her captive um, her willingness to escape her want to escape from their grasp and for them for a moment and for the moment that you have the, on your next turn you'll be able to speak as Thorum but whatever is whatever this hunger is there will need to be a decisive decision does that make sense yeah so on your turn you'll be able to talk as Thorum but at the end of your turn you'll have no choice but be overcome by this creature and consume one so with that and with your turn finished your turn is done yeah we're gonna take a quick 10 minute break ah, ah, break in the middle of um, combat <laughs> come back to this for the but just before we go for the next 10 minutes you have the opportunity to comment the word goblin cheesy bread goblin <laughs> in the chat to win this can they type it as many times as they want? And this. No, once. Once. <laughs> once per user. All your discord. And this. the Shifting Sands set, and we will send it out to you following this stream. Shifting Sands, Crack and Dice. Gorgeous. Mm. Yeah. Hey. 12 piece Pretty set cool. featuring 2D20s, 1D2, which, by the way, the D2s are actually my favorite. Mm -hmm. Like... Nice. So pretty. Look, I'm um, 4D6 and the... Titan D20. So Goblin, last chance now. If you have not commented it, when we come back, we will be drawing a winner. And we'll be possibly killing somebody. <laughs> we'll see what the conclusion of this battle is going to be. After this 10 minute break, it is now 8.38, 8.48. We'll be back, guys. We'll see what happens. See you soon. Ooh,
So, so mine's way of shadow. Yeah, just, so, I mean, welcome back, everybody. You all heard it first. The Mars uh, subclass. Um, welcome back. I hope uh, everyone was able to stick around. Um, in uh, good fashion, I um, uh, I was told uh, a little bit earlier on that um, we had a question about subclasses and what subclass our players were. So happy to announce, happy to tell you that. Um, so Rook, um, mm. what subclass are you? I can throw to you as well. I'll polish. Um, no, it's a, um, I'm playing a ranger <laughs> and I am playing a monster hunter. A monster hunter. So I'm actually thoroughly enjoying it. No. I'm probably not used to utilizing no. skills enough. Amara, way of shadows. I, I, I am, think we picked um, it up. I am monk, way of the shadow. Yeah. Um, super, super cool. So much fun to play, hey. Mm. Like, shadow jumping is so much fun. Nice. Barclays? Um, Barclays is a bard. Um, <laughs> Barclays he's, is a party boy. What? He's, um, he's a party he's party a boy. Yeah, he's a no, party boy. He does lots of singing. He does Wait, some. Is he also? He's a human, right? No. <laughs> he's he's a, he is. He, he's he's tall and he's a half elf. I thought he was a lizard. He has been the whole time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's a half elf, he's, half lizard man. He's a gentleman <laughs> in a dwarfish way. And his subclass, I would say, he comes, or he, he came from the College of Swords. Beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Gunnar? <laughs> Gunnar is a, a Verdon wizard. Oh, Char is a Verdon wizard. Um, Gunnar, Gunnar is a elf wizard. Mm -hmm. um, psionics, so okay. unearthed arcana, which yep. got kicked out the door after I made him. Whatever. <laughs> oh. And Thorum? Uh, Thorum is a life yeah. cleric. Is a cleric. Yeah, a life domain cleric. Beautiful. All page, level... Page one of the player's hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, all level nine. Uh, so hopefully that, that answered your question. Um, sorry we didn't get to you in time. But uh, I... Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, more know. exciting news. We've got... I have okay. an announcement. You've got an announcement. What have you got? Hey! Hey. Thank you so much to everyone who answered yeah. our dice giveaway. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we had, just so you guys know, we had 58 entries oh. into this dice giveaway. Nice. Um, so we had a lot of people. Um, I want to thank our regulars, obviously. Yes. You guys know who you are. Um, I don't need to chuck names out in there. Um, however, I'm going to say that the winner is. Okay. Please, <laughs> please check your texts. <laughs> it is. Please. I hope I got this right. At Archaligo, an Australian uh, 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 Twitter and um, a Twitter watcher person. of us. So at Archaligo, congratulations. Yeah. 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 From the fate script um, Twitter very shortly, mm. you will find out how you're going to get your hands on these dice. But thank you again to everyone who entered. Mm. Um, fun fact we have a lot more dice to give yes. away. Yeah. Um, so we are going to announce our next giveaway very shortly. Perfect. This uh, off topic, uh, congratulations, you'll be receiving your prize soon. Off topic, this is the Hottest Tim Tam mm. I have ever eaten. Oh my god, I told you. I told you. I was right here. It's all chocolate fun until it burns. Actually, yeah. actually, what is this level 10 of, of, of 10 types of Tim Tam? Really? <laughs> what the hell? Anyway. It's not that Tim, well, we are saying in Australia. Hold on. Tim Tam Chili. You're Italian. You don't know? Yeah. Spicy food. Well, I'm about to. Yeah, I have nothing for that. Do Italians eat spicy food? Do you know who Italians do eat? Is it? Who? Who? It's <laughs> So, I'm um, Sicilian. Congratulations again. Thank, Thank you so much, much for coming. Okay, guys. Um, we do have another um, dice set coming off the end of the night. What? Are we gonna. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. No! no. We should have seen it by Rook. Um, but let's, let's um, bring it back in, guys, if there's no other announcements to make. Um, and we will continue the battle. So. As the, eye, the red eyes of Thorum look back and forth from the left to the right of his hand where Osei, the friend and companion of Thorum's five in one, 
is trapped and Sarivia, the tabaxi guardian of Ilyanar's temple in Shan in the left. We're back to the top. So, Amara, what would you like to do? I'm going to use uh, Kalio's oh. dice. Um, and I'm going to... Uh, Kalio's the winning, please, the winning roll. Please. You're going to win something. Um, I am going to... Stuff the room in the head. All right. Oof. Good so roll. Yeah. It's actually it's higher than a 20. Oh, it's a 21. Yeah, the 21. Oh, oh, you got good. Pull the constitution <laughs> save right now. It, it comes, comes with low and dice. <laughs> that is 14. You fail. You're stuck <laughs> until the end of next turn. And you also <laughs> take damage. Thank you, Arkelio and Rakan Dice. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Okay, so roll for damage. Yes! Um, what is my D8? <laughs> Did you hear Emily and Rakan Dice talking about it? It's a five. Okay. Well, it's five points of damage. Yay! Five points of damage, alright. Um, I'm Two. gonna roll again. Do you now have advantage of all your rolls, attack and roll. It's a 20. So it means beats. It's a So take another. This is non lethal, by the way. This is um, eight points of damage. Um, and I've used my bonus action to strike. To strike? To stunning strike. Perfect. That's your turn? That is... In his head, I'm going to say, Full room. Snap out of it. Okay. <laughs> this round... This, I wanna. This whole round... You are Full room With that... Shaking of whatever... Being is... 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 Has your mind broken? You can speak once for each of these, each of your companions' turns, and you do recognize them. Okay, so I can take no action. Correct. Or do any checks. <clears throat> Correct. Can, can I ask, ask whose turn, turn is it? Oh. At the moment, it's Amara's. Afterward, it'll that be is, yours. That's once my again, turn. So that's you do hear Amara in your voice, and you know her. Are you wanting to respond to them, or actually, you can only respond if you want to. Um, I'm going, yeah, so as soon as I'm shaken free of it, I'm going to turn to Amara and say, Yes, that's it. You must act quickly. This thing has a hold of my mind. Does it sound loud? Yes, very out loud to Amara. Um, just so you can see, I've got my, like, as best as I can, my arrow drawn and pointing at you. Mm -hmm. So if I hear this... Are you you're shouting? Yes. Okay. You need to give it everything you've got. Is that all you're saying? That's all I'm saying. Rook, your turn. Can we all talk? Um, oh, so that was me speaking on Amara's turn. Correct. Mm. Correct. Now it's Rook's. Was it Ado that saved you or Amara? No one's saving me. I'm still in a lot of trouble. Aim for the face. There's no armor there. <laughs> <laughs> If only we had someone good at punching in the face. Do we get advantage now that he said that? Only if you're only if you're on the face. Do we get advantage on the face? He's already stunned. Do we get double advantage? No, I'm only one advantage because of the so he's still with us. What about triple advantage? What about quad advantage? Okay, we're going to stop now. Quad kill, queen advantage. Still only advantage. And what was the question? Um, he's still taking hold of whatever the thing is. That's what you assume. Yes. Um, shoot me in the face. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take the All right, do both with advantage, please. Um, 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 um. Do we have that arrow of slaying still? So, do we have that arrow of dragon <laughs> slaying? <laughs> we used it. We used it. Yeah. Uh, 9, 14. No, oh, it's over 21. Ah, yeah. To so hit? To hit, yeah. Yeah, absolutely it hits. Um, and the other one is... Nat 20. Hey. Okay, yeah, so double one. damage on the second, the second attack. attack. So I'll put that to the side. Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, first shot's not very impressive. Four damage. Four? Four damage, yeah. yeah. And so then just then double the dice with the nat 20, 20 and then add whatever bonuses all you get All of the dice will be... All of the dice. Double all of the dice. So seven, five, and three. That's 15. 15. 15, yeah. And then the second 
No, no, you're just doubling. So you're just oh, doubling you that. So 30? Yeah. Do you have any damage damage bonuses on, on that? Uh, or, uh, no, no, I roll my, okay. my natural damage. So 30 down. points of, of piercing damage. I keep thinking this is plus, plus 7 on top of that. Because yeah. uh, for the bow. Um, um, this is the dice roll. roll. So 37. 37 damage? Mm -hmm. And then the other one was... Uh, four. Four plus seven. Plus seven. Yeah. Is... Twelve. Eleven. 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 Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven and thirty. Eleven and... That's forty-one damage. Mm -hmm. A lot of damage. damage. I'm blooded. So, with that, Rook's silver bow un uh, unleashes two strikes against this possessed Thorum and strikes in t both the the first one in the clavicle and the second directly in the neck as it sh as it just tears a hole in the side you can see that there's a huge amount of blood now gushing from his wound and you can see what looks to be the start of um intact but still bloodied veins that are going down his, uh, that are exposed Clean shot to the head would have been good, man. Uh, I'm trying, bro. <laughs> um, I wanted, wanted to do it. it. <laughs> You're saying um, you can say... I said that. I said, okay. what was that? <laughs> um, I'm going to assume he's in control of his mace at this point, and I'm going to take refuge at some... Um, so, the second... So, right-hand side, there's like... Working from the right hand side, counting clockwise, mm -hmm. there's um, five uh, like druid tomes, I guess what you call them, druid circle thingies. The yeah, yeah, I see. Things. Yep. yep. So, second one, I can make it to the second one and in the center of that, so behind that. Five, I do want to move him, Amara. Does he take an attack oh, no, I'll moving do it, away I'll from do it. the mace? I'm assuming you're controlling this time. Um, you oh. have an attack of opportunity as you feel the mace take a swing at you. There you go. So are you moving? Uh, so I've moved it ooh, ooh. already. Um, Is that where you, where you want to be? Hold on, I'm not on. Uh, if I can make it there, yeah, that's fine. That was um, a. Uh, <laughs> that, one, that, that, yeah. was, that was the crack. Okay, oh, yeah. go for it. So that's Sorry, a natural bro. twenty. <laughs> Really um, what's your movement, Rook? Uh, my movement is the five. So you can just make it there. Okay, that'll do it. That'll that's do it. the saddest so. twenty I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So double the damage. Sorry, double the dice. So roll it once and then double that, and then add any bonuses that Thorum gets. So was he attacking someone within five feet of me at the time? Roll Thorum, once and Thorum double. himself two, wasn't the mace no, was. No. Yeah. Um. So that is. <clears throat> Only nine points of damage. Nine points. Mate. All right. So the mace... I've been in the wild for a while. I've been in the wild for a while. That's nothing. The mace cracks on, <laughs> on the back of your head, just sending you sprawling for a moment into, into whatever this dirt and grass is beneath you, glowing. And the, the, you can see now in front of you, as your face has hit, hit the ground, looking up, this dirt is floating slightly off the ground, and you scatter and you make it to that point. Um, only a little bit of a gash in your neck. Uh, is that all you're doing, Rook? That would be... Yeah, that's it. All right. Barclays. Right. So... Um, got a hold of him. Yeah, so I'm going to like kind of run up his back and then just do a like a kind of a double flail move with, with my two blades. You have advantage on your attacks. Yeah. And um, Thorum, you can speak to him. <clears throat> so you do whatever, whichever you want to do first. Yeah, and I just, I, I, I just yell, We'll fix your face later, my friend! I just want to see how this goes before I speak. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to keep it that way. No, I'm just seeing like, <laughs> squinting my face. This is going to hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make okay. your attack rolls with advantage. Yeah, okay, cool. I just got to make sure I want to do the right one, that's all. Um, okay, so this will be Slashing Flourish. And that would be a 20... 20? Yeah, that, that beats. That hits. Yeah, okay, cool. So, is the damage is... Uh, go back to attacks. And this is... So, let's say it would be 8 plus my bardic, which would be 14. And it's cold damage as well. 
He's got cold whiskers now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now that's the first attack. Okay. Do I go for the second one? That's... Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. You've got one shot. Oh, don't miss your chance. chance. <laughs> Fine, let's Woo! Go. Yep, cool. Child of the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Oh no, did I not hit? I'll get another, I'll get another attack anyway, but... Um, 15. No. no. Oh no. Aha! So I'm using my bonus action yes, for another attack. And that would be... 24. That hits. And... Wait. Oh, come on. Seven? To hit. No, no. Or damage. That's damage. Damage. Oh. Damar. Uh, so <laughs> I don't uh, think he'd ask you if it was a seven to hit. Sweet. So... <laughs> How much was the first one? The first lot of damage? It was 14 cold. Okay, perfect. Ah, I'm looking really hurt. <sighs> what well? Are you saying uh, anything uh, to Barclays in, in his turn? Mm. Take me out. Did you want to? Ah, uh, I'm going to... Or, or you can shout you to this? everyone. Gunner's gonna cry. I'm gonna say... Yeah, to everyone, I'm just gonna shout. Why can't any of you just hit just one clean strike? Can I just yell one more thing? Up in the air. Gunner, how do you want to do this? I'm going to look up at Gunner and say, You alone have the power. You have more power than all of these three put together. Use that finesse to not kill me oh, now, Gunner. Bitch. To not kill you now? Didn't Take me down, kill. don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> what music is this? I know this. Two steps from home. Yeah. Is that right? No. I've heard this before too, I don't know what from though. Neither. Gunner's turn. Is this gonna be um, I am going to... Uh, <laughs> just a quick question. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like I've learned a few hard lessons about the Feather Fall tokens, but I just want to confirm what I've learned. That's fine. Um, you have to be holding it in your hand for it to work? You have to, you have to click a button? Click a button. Yes. So okay. If you have the distance, if you have the, the fall distance, and you have the thing in your pocket, for example, mm. you could you could have enough time to grab it. Yep. But there is always going is that to, an action? to be... Um, I'll say probably while you're falling, because it happens pretty quickly, it could, it could probably be a bonus action. I'll let it be one or the other. Okay. Um, oh, boy. Um, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to do this at a big boy level, I think. Um, I will cast Confusion at Thorum. Okay. Um, so, I don't know, actually, I wanna try, I'm gonna reach out with my psionics, and I'm gonna see if I can feel this creature inside Thorum. Because yeah. I re remember hearing about this from last time, right? Like, I know that this creature was inside it. Someone said it was. Did I? I don't think I remember seeing it myself, but I knew it was there because someone else saw it from a perception check or something, or... You all saw this creature emerge from the green dragon. Okay. All right. But when it emerged, did it emerge, like, physically out of a wound, or did it, like, have some kind of, like, sort of possession-type effect? It was a bit of both. Okay. This creature can completely encompass and... You, the 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 way that you saw the green dragon emerge, uh, sorry, the green dragon dying this thing emerge was physical. Okay. Uh, it erupted. Okay, so I'm gonna think about the lessons that Oberdin taught me, mm -hmm. um, and thinking about the different types of schools of psionics, and I'm going to. I think was it psychokinesis? No, not psychokinesis. Tell. No. I can't remember the one. Make an intelligence check. Thank you. <laughs> Woo. Hey, um, that is a twenty-one. So, what are you trying to find out? Um, the school that would 
be relating to um, like sensing the presence or the thoughts of another creature. Change the properties. Uh, yeah, so that would be uh, Claire Sentience. Claire Sentience. Okay. So I'm going to try and using the some of the lessons that Amara has given me, close my eyes, and I'm going to try really hard to just push everything else out and focus all of my attention on inside of the room and trying to pick up anything that I can to pinpoint it. And so you're just you're just trying to locate this creature. Just if it's there. Sense it. Yeah, sense it if it's there. Okay. You close your eyes and just... Your mind expands and you... Feel a presence behind the eyes and the chest of this... Of Thor. And you know for a fact that this creature is physically inside of Thorum. It's made its physical form a part of Thorum now. Can I sense a disconnection or they're like fused in a way? There like, is, there... there is, there does seem to be some sort of disconnection there. Okay. That the so movements of Thorum are being controlled. Okay. Alright. Not well, that Thorum is is yeah. making those moves willingly. I can't um this isn't a target spell. This this affects everything within a 10 foot sphere, so Thorum will feel the effect as well. But I, I will cast confusion on Thor. Centered on Thorum, but um, so that it doesn't get the rest of my group. Okay, and that's a wisdom so, Wisdom save? saving throw. Fuck, he's out. 15. Okay. okay. So. You both save. Or, that's the, that was the, the, sorry, the question about whether they were separate was whether or not they both have to do a save or if just there's one save. I see. My understanding was that if you were finding out about the possession format, I guess. Okay. In terms of saving, it's only the creature that uh, that is uh, going to be doing the save. Okay, fine. Yeah? Yeah, so it was 17 was the... Okay. Was the, um, so one. this creature now cannot take reactions and must roll a d10 at the start of each of its turns to um to have something uh Gunner happen is now to falling it. from the sky you are falling yes yeah. you are um are you going to try and activate the coin uh -huh. all right um it's not in your it's in your hand at the moment is it uh, but are you taking a bonus? It's you in have my. A it's it would be in my backpack. Sure. Oh, actually. No, no, it would be in my backpack. It's a bit harder. Mm. It's a bit harder to get to before you do land. For that, I'll probably get you to make a dexterity check, please. Yeah. As you fall. And you're ninety feet in the air, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Um, twenty. You're gonna take half damage from this, but that's a very good roll. Um, DC was nineteen. So you fall to take half damage. Shit. How many feet do I fall around? You're, you're falling 90 feet. The full feet, the 90 feet. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, but that feather token does activate. Oh, okay. but, and you do land, but you land pretty heavily still. Oh, okay. Um, but you take only six points of bludgeoning damage as you land heavily, but the, the without that feather token, which did activate and slow your fall just in time, you did, um, uh, it would have been a little bit worse. Okay, six you said? Yes. Um, I also rolled a con save and I Thank passed. Thank you. You passed? Thank you very much. So it was a 10 or over, I'm assuming? Oh. Cool. I rolled um, 13. Yeah, perfect. Just quickly, I think Barclays has an announcement. Oh, yeah, I just want to say thanks to Sticks and Stones for Southern. Sticks and Stones? Oh, thank you. Dixon, you break my bones. Dixon, stage, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. Sorry. You ruined it. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Sorry
Um, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, so, thank you. With that, you have cast confusion, and you see Thorum now simply looking around, his face just looking in one direction and another. Barclays, are you still holding on to him? Oh yeah. He's pulling you, but it seems erratic. It seems not with any purpose. And you see his eyes are clouded now. The, the eyes change from this red, deep red, to more of a blinking, confused, light red or white. Um, some sort of effect has taken hold here. Yeah, okay. So, are you doing anything else, Gunnar, as you land? Uh, no, I would just get... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now the roll of the dice will Ooh, decide is Kips okay? wait Kips is fine okay he's stunned that's right okay I'm just letting you go that's okay wait <laughs> that's okay he's stunned he's also confused don't kill anyone <laughs> that's right I was getting I was getting to that point no I, I I'm sorry no I'm you're just fine just passionate yeah. so Thor you're still you cannot seem to even though you do possess your own mind for a moment in your turn you can speak again you can make one action and that action can be your own but that will be all you can do and we'll need to find out what that looks like with a roll of a dice. Could you please roll me a d10 and simply give me the number, please? As the confusion, as the confusion spell takes hold. That's ten. Okay. He looks happy. It's bad. As oh you, no! <laughs> as you blink. You hear the sound beyond this hissing in your mind of the quarry. You feel it for the very first time. And you can feel your stomach push out in this sickly pain. As you, as you yourself hold your hand down to your stomach and you feel bubbling. As though your skin is, and your scales are pushing outward in this in this bubble soupy like of like mass and you know that something is is taking hold of you and you have but moments to act I'll let you just make one either action or bonus action whichever you prefer and then we'll see what happens Is this? So this is Thorum's action. Quick question about banishment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I cast it on myself? <clears throat> so what's the description? You attempt to send one creature that you can see within range to another plane of existence. The target must succeed on a charisma saving throw or be banished. You attempt to send one creature that you can see within range. Oh. Yep. I'm going to look to the others and go... <laughs> You've got about a minute. I know, do I have to roll charisma or can I just choose to... You are willing, as Thorum. You all see Thorum and whatever is with him vanish. You have one minute. So, the swirling wind around you continues. Unabated. You can see now, however, slightly through it. It's slightly translucent as you see those green, large obelisks jutting up and duplicating, getting a little bit closer than disappearing. You see now things that are now more normalized now that you've been here for a few minutes of, the, of this timeline. You see dreams of others 
that there's a shift. You hear as Thorum left a shriek <sighs> from Thorum's own mouth, but from the creature. And then you watch as the around you they start to appear people humanoids other creatures that seem to be dreaming one rhinoceros gif creature and you recognize him as an as an innkeeper in rote just simply walking along and walking over a bridge and catching with a fishing line an enormous fish and being very gleeful but then in a moment this gif his body erupts and a quarry emerges hissing in the light the the paper like skin of this gif just floats to the ground <coughs> you see another set of people in a column a little ways to the right of this dream <coughs> move and you can't quite tell whose dream this is from the people but the there is one within that line in this white and gold robe that erupts and another quarry emerges As all this is happening is this seconds passing yes um i ready my bow and um did this creature leave with him there's no longer thorum and there doesn't seem to be this particular looking creature with it did those say and the as well. They are gone. Now we have time to prepare. So you for a few moments, but pull your best spells and join the fight. Gunner, where have you been? I was up there. Come back down. I'm here. Yes. He really is. He, he, landed. <laughs> he landed on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but you've missed <laughs> out. No, I haven't. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> You've been watching us trying to save. That was like six seconds. Yeah. yeah. I was I was thinking for six Guys, seconds. Guys, stop. 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 Rosay and Saruvia are in danger. Okay. We need to get Thorum back. Do we take Thorum out? We don't kill him, but we take him out. Or do we, or How do we know that'll work? For the purposes we of don't. this, while you discuss... I'm, um, gonna, I'm gonna put a timer on. Yeah, can I hold the action? And you will discuss. Yes, you can. You can all. I'll let you all hold an action outside of this discussion of one minute. Yep. But the time starts. Now. Should we slice oh, the tethers? Uh, I will patient defense. Yep. Um, Amara, should we slice the tethers? That means my confusion is. What do you mean? Did you not notice that say and Serbia is being attached? I, I understand how, how, how I would do that, I don't know. However, we know that Thorum is being controlled. If we can separate the two, then maybe we can target the Dreaming Dark, and maybe that that link will be severed by itself. 30 seconds. So we go back. So as soon as Thorum reappears, we take him out. We take him out, but we don't kill him. Don't kill him. He, he is not under his own control. Gun. Yes. You're in this as well, aren't you? Yes. You have any other thoughts? And then I point my bow out. I, I don't have. I Now's not the time to judge what you need to do. Just do it. It's time. What are you doing? Where was I? You suddenly appear in a black place. It is. The sand is a reflective black sand and you look beyond and you see a desert with a shining dark red sun. And that is all. I've got a minute in this place with this creature, right? In my mind, I'm going to say to him, we have a quiet minute. Let's sit in solace. We're going to try and sit on the sand. Make another wisdom say no. Make another charisma say. Do you have any for the background? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> oh, nice. yeah. That's nice. Unnatural twenty. Sorry, an unnatural twenty. Unnatural twenty. Right. Okay. Do you know what that's called? That's twenty. 
Yes. Well, I, 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 I know what you mean. 20 of total. Of course. Total of um, 20 total. 20 total. Okay. As you... You like it. <laughs> Is this the love song between Eowyn? Oh, no. oh. So you're sitting, sitting there, there with the worm? worm? Just sitting there. Just, Just chilling, chilling on talking. Yeah, How's, How's your weekend? weekend? So, as you Silence. <laughs> as you sit, one minute begins. Your Nothing. friends will die soon. When we materialize, they're going to rip me apart with a force that you haven't seen. This might be a, my last minute on your last minute. You will watch as others will appear and take them if I will not. What were you when you started your life? A Kalashta. Like this? Was there innocence? Was there joy? All these things I have forgotten. Well, it's too late to remind you now. Think of them and let these last few moments pass in silence. As you look beyond the horizon, the sun sets quickly within seconds of you gazing on it, it shifts behind the far, far plane. And that is a minute. You didn't slowly just reach out your hand and just hold it. My own <laughs> hand to myself. No, As you all watch, you all have held, I'll, I'll allow you to all have held an action. You just apart, yep, apart from your normal round of um, goes because at the very top afterward will be Amara. Anyway, so you all watch as Thorum reappears in the exact point that he was. So everyone will have an equal go. What would you all, what would, what would you like to do and in what order? He's uh, standing right there, hey. Oh, punch the shit out of you. All right, make your attack rolls. In the meantime, Gunnar, did you have a question? No, no. All good? Uh, don't want to do this. These aren't stunned though anymore. No, but we're flanking still? Yep, they're still flanking. First one will not hit. No. Second one won't hit, and my bonus action will not hit. So Amara Oof. is like, he appears and he just goes, and I go, <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, so that's your held action. Um, who would like to go next? Everyone will have an, an equal go. Oh, okay. It's, your entire, really it's your entire... Um, well, let me, let me try and slash and flourish. Go for it. Uh, two? No. You've got advantage. 17. Um, no, no yes. but... But this to my attack, so twenty-five. You hit? Yep. Sweet. Nine coal damage. I kind of feel it. Why anyway. I look hurt? <laughs> <laughs> look, just just chill out, all right? Oh. oh. Yeah. We. And that would be... Whoops, sorry, 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 that would be... How dare you? Uh, can't do maths for a second, what's going on in my head? 19? That misses. Do you have No. It's an advantage. So 17, obviously, then doesn't hit either. This is, yes. Bonus. 11, 18? No. Come on, man. Kraken? Yes. 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 Are you sure? Yes. 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 So, how do you knock me out? <laughs> Unless you, 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 you want to kill me. How do you knock my block off? <laughs> how do I knock him out? Well, look, because I'm not actually trying to stab him with my blades. I'm still using Just my swords. Side? Yeah, yeah, with, 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 with scabbards on. And he's there presenting himself. How does he look before I um, take him out? You see an enormous gash where his neck should be, or part of his neck. You see arrows sticking out of him like a pincushion. 
He is bloodied. He is unmoving of pain. You, you, normally someone would be crying out at this point. Thorm is very much un, um, unemotional and uh, as though not feeling it at all, but certainly hurt. I, I just look at him and I say, as I, as, I, as I come in with my sword, I'm like, I hope you can see this, friend. And I, my flourish is like so fast and like I spin and I twirl and it's just like, it's all happening really quick and I'm, I'm creating more of a distraction than anything else. And within that is that blow that he may not expect and he's just out. Okay. As you all watch, this creature reappears. No, the bastard. Same. How out is he? I'm rolling death saves. Right, okay. That Thorum out. slumps to the mm. ground. You are now unconscious, and on your next turn, you will be starting to roll your death saves. As the creature, as though, as though it's pushing its way out of Thorum through the mouth, Thorum. You go onto your back and then you know no more, but everyone else sees Thorum's mouth just go wide and you hear cracks in his jaw as this creature just moves and flows outward into the air again, floating <coughs> above all of you about five feet. These eyes popping out of the, of the scales of Thorum, but then now emerging once more around this creature, some of them screaming, some of them simply silent. And it's silent. So, was that your turn, Bartlett? Yep, that's me. Gunner, you're up. Um, can I see the thing? Yeah, how far away am I? Where is the creature, though? Right, right next to where the um, was? Five feet, so you, hopefully yeah. you should see him by now. Um, and he is there. Oh, boy. How is the creature looking? Hmm? I mean, there is flesh everywhere and then disconnected from this from the main body looking uh, if it was any other humanoid pretty hurt but again this creature is not something you've studied too much and looking around is there any any other creatures or anything that are noticing this or looking like Make them want to join check. that four plus eight eight in total yeah Looking around and, and the sight that you saw with these, uh, with these human, humanoids that had been dreaming and these Cory that had been emerging from them all of a sudden, something you've not seen before, you do see one of them, this large red glowing thing with these short little arms, but twirling of roped um, sinew making up its body in this one eye seems to be floating or just crawling towards you yes the others you don't really notice if they're coming towards you or not oh from a distance um <clears throat> i'm going to run towards Thorum and i'm gonna pour, pour a potion of greater healing down his gullet all right that's your bon that's your his bonus one. action gullet mm. um, how much does Here's that legs. heal him 40 Here's four legs. plus Here's four mm -hmm. oh. dang so you get Oh, that's a D8. <laughs> uh, Eleven plus, so fifteen health. That'll do. Health. Heal. You, Heal. you wake up and you feel your jaw slack, as though, and you feel nauseous, as though something. You looking down and 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 holding your mouth with your hand. You, there is definitely like, you have a bloodied mouth. You're not quite sure why. Probably last thing you are aware, Barclays attacked you. Uh, but you certainly feel like yourself again. Um, Thumbs up all around. Apparently, <laughs> apparently <laughs> saying that you're like, yours dislocated. Well <laughs> done, guys. Well done. Don't bring fire at us. Oh, oh God, guys. He's yeah. up again. Quick. <laughs> 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 Kill him! <laughs> I can't say anything. <laughs> um, then I'm going to reach out in front of me and use Mind Sliver. Sliv sliver. Okay. And I'm going to cast it at Amara. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. At the quarry. Uh, wisdom save? No, intelligence. 
Intelligence saving throw. Ooh, good to know. interesting. It's always been intelligence. Okay. It's a fourteen. No. You okay. Fail. So you take. Uh, oh God, how many is it? What level are we? Nine. Two d six. Um. So that is. I think it's actually two d six plus six, plus one. So it's uh, eight. Okay, good to know. Eight psychic damage, and the next saving throw, no one else knows this, but um, the next saving throw it takes, um, it has to subtract a d4. Yep, cool. It's... Uh, before the end of my next turn. Yeah, good to know. Yeah. The mind... Can I also just say, Oops. I want to reach in with this successful... Like, I guess, I think of it like a splinter, like a, a splinter piercing through its mind, burrowing in. I'm looking for mm. its fears. Okay. Interestingly enough, as you're more used to humanoids and other beings of, of minds that are not as shielded as this, you do not have the ability to see within because this splinter that you so visualize mm. pierces but does not enter and ricochets off this creature it didn't do as much damage as you damage as you thought it would okay you feel a quick a quick emotion of of pure hatred but that is all yeah all right anything else you're doing no that's that's I think that's all I can do for this. Thorum. Oh, ac- oh no! Please. I used a bonus action already, didn't yes, I? You did. To give Thorum the uh, okay. the potion. Thorum, that's you're right. up. All right. Um. Heal yourself. You see, at this point, just just while you're thinking, Thorum, you see at this point this creature still Are you okay? reveals a struggle within both the left and the right arms that it possesses, and I say in. Sorivia are still within its grasps. How many arms does it have? Many. It's sort of like a centipede, but with small claws at the end of each. Mm-hmm. Um, you count, maybe. How I notice that it's been holding on to those two with the same arms the whole time, or does it switch arms as switches. it's, it's it switches? Switches. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's a random pattern. Mm. Um. Um. So, how far away am I from this creature? Five feet. Cool, so I'm gonna, if it's possible, can I take my uh, action and bonus action right at the same time uh, for star points? So Thorum's gonna (laughs) run straight up to it, and as an an action, I am going to use my, (laughs) my breath weapon, and... Brassy flames erupt out of Thorum's dislocated jaw, and a little, a few of them come out of the open wound on his neck. <laughs> and as he's breathing fire, I'm going to slap my hand on the wound on my neck, push the flames out, gets a little more intensity out the mouth. I'm going to cast Healing Word as an action, right. and as the flames pass out, my jaw snaps back into place and narrows the stream. Oh. Yeah. Love it! Wow. Um, so I take that's some surgical flame. Eight points of healing. Good. Does this creature need to make a dexterity saving throw, or or you just have to hit it, roll to hit it? Um, it just has to be within a fifteen foot cone. Cone, but I'm right, 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 right next to it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would aim that in such a way that it would go towards my um, my mace and the yep. statue. Yep. Okay. Is it? Is it? Are you rolling for to hit or for damage? No. No, it's just standing within the flame, the torrent of Correct. the flame. So it take. Oh, sorry. Yes, my apologies. Uh, it takes. No. It's an automatic three, thing. It, yes. So if it's standing within there, it makes. I think it can save actually. I dex, thought. It, yeah, dex save. Yeah, dex save. Yeah. Of fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, that is a nine. And that is. Hey, that went really well. That's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah, 17 points 17. of fire damage. Okay. <sighs> this huge torrent of fire erupts and this creature is just... Sh- the, all of the eyes surrounding this head are disintegrated instantly. You then see this 
shriveled version of this worm, this quarry, just flail around more. The charred insides of its flesh are blackened uh, instead of this pinky um, flesh, and it's just moving around violently, more violent and quick than it ever has. Uh, make a perception check, please. <coughs> Say yeah, Fine. you see beyond this creature, beyond this cyclone around you, there are three different shaped quarry that have emerged from these dreaming humanoids that are making their way towards you currently. Is that what you're doing? That's all I'm doing. All right, back to the top, Amara. Still, still have action. action? Yes, you do. Sorry, still <laughs> held action. Sorry, go for it. Um, mm. after I see all this, mm. I'm just going to take a shot at the... Pot shot. Pot shot. Pot shot. Pot shot. Uh, with Sniper. Yeah. At the statue. At the, um... Wormy. Wormy boy. Wormy. Wormy boy. Which is probably not going to hit. Um... May Odo guide you. <laughs> uh, 14. Yeah, he guided you. And Yay. four is 18. 18 minus 5. 18 minus 5 is uh, for 13, no. No. Okay. Oh. Oh. Minus yeah, 5. Minus 5. Yeah, but then with plus 10. Because he uses the night thing. Night yeah. well, Cool. It's, it's your go again then. And yeah. I'm going to take two pot shots. Go for it. With um, sharp shooter. Yep. Um, let's see, 20. That's not going to hit. 14. Try it if you pass. Okay, go. <laughs> um, that's gonna hit. 18 and 14. Mm-hmm. So the 18 hits, the 14 does not. Yeah. And that is 6, 7, or 10. Oh, man, it's, it's... 13 damage. 13 points of damage? Yeah. Okay. It's still up. It's one of the shots strike it. I'm sorry. Please. It's 20 damage. 20 in total? I keep eating, yeah. That's okay? Yeah, but the, so where, yeah, okay, that's fine. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Um, <laughs> um, so that strike hits, you're not in trouble, that's fine. <laughs> it hits and... You're just banished from the group. No, 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 no it's, it's more about the rolls, not about, not about that, but that's okay. fine. Um, just to clarify something, but anyway, the arrow flies forward again and strikes the creature once again in, in that open flesh wound it it's hits, it strikes, more just a spray of eyes get, um, or what remain of them, get uh, dotted into the ground, but that is, the creature's still flailing. And as it does, it sort of looks around a little bit, these two forms next to it. <sighs> Size. Are you doing anything else? That would be my two shots. Yep. My bonus action. I'm okay with, and I'm in a position I feel like I'm alright. So okay. That's it. It's its turn. As it looks to one side of its hands and the other, Cerivia. No. No. And I say. I thought I got my go. You go. You you have yet to have your your action. Your um. Free action. Your free action? No, 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 I've had it. Yeah. You just said before it was my go, so I was like, Oh, ah. was it? Apologies. You should go first. Yeah, you I go first. Yeah, you go yeah. first. Apologies, sorry. Yes, ah. that's right. Stun this mother. Um, it's I'm gonna... It's, it's still doing that, though. It's still sort of looking no, back and No, that's fine. Forth. That's fine. I'm sorry. Yeah, go for it. Ruin the illusion. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna move up to it. As you do, you still see Vishara simply touch and keep a hold of the statue and it, the statue itself of Ilyanar is that of, a, of an old woman with this hand sort of out mm. and within it the same stone version of your weapon and the other hand simply on her heart so the first thing I'm going to do is move up so that I, I'm in range of monster and the statue. You're actually yeah. there now. Yeah, so I just moved, oh, my, you, you moved, I just moved myself there. 
I'm gonna put my hand on the on the statue first, and I'm I'm gonna say please, please, please be okay. Um, and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna the wand is still I guess somewhere in my free hand, and I'm going to touch the statue with the wand and hope something happens, okay. and then I'm gonna one hand stuff. The monster. Make a first of all, please make a wisdom check. The monster. Ooh, that oh, was nice. pretty good. Um, nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use the wand. So as you telepathically in your mind plead with Ilyana, the weapon touches the statue, and you feel throughout, from your shoulder downward, this almost pull and you sort of are alert a little bit the other hand ready to strike this this quarry off guard a little um, and, and a little bit out of place as this wand simply stops you all watch as the statue glows and the statue itself starts to shift the stone cracks as you watch this old woman this crumbling rock around her falling and within this large person and a, a wand as well glowing in her hand her, her other no longer on her heart but reaching down and just simply touching your head slowly with a smile. Strike it. Strike it with my gift, Amara. It echoes and reverbs that voice throughout this wind. The wind, this cyclonic wind, stops still. What am I saying? Sorry, yeah. They're still. They're still within the, its grasp. Yeah. Um, I can beat the shit out of this thing. What are you? What are you doing? Fists, staff. Staff. Okay, go for it. It's good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just saw. <laughs> sorry, fifteen plus eight, and I was like. It hits. Roll for damage. Um, yeah, roll for damage first. Oh, Where's my dick? I keep losing my dick. Ooh. Um, 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Okay. You watch as with the, with the, with this wand in one hand and this staff cracking this creature with the other, you all watch as, the, as a huge blinding light gets, gets transferred into Amara from the wand and outward into the staff. Crack! It crashes throughout and you see this this explosion of light vroom, go outward in a circle and you watch beyond as this ring of white blows out and disintegrates the quarry the three that were coming towards this creature in in fact simply stops and is still how do you want to do this Hey. <laughs> yeah, so <sighs> pressure. Um pressure. I'm gonna crack it down on the head and with that like blast of light, similar to the others, it just collapses into a puddle of little goo. Okay. <laughs> Onto the ground it's, it's like a mouse, it's just, just like Yeah. It simply, it simply <laughs> stops and falls, and then it liquefies with the light. And I need, I need everyone but Amara to make a Constitution saving throw as this blinding light just is is sudden and unexpected. Sip, sip. Ew. Thirteen. Constitution. Yep. Yeah. Saving. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. uh, 21, I've mm -hmm. seen lots of holy light. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Okay. Everyone but Barclays is fine. You blink for a moment and you are Sorry, unaffected. You are blinded. 
So you have the blinding effect. Barclays, Barclays. is used to being the brightest light in the room, so he's very confused. <laughs> <laughs> currently, you currently like, have, have I just, just been teleported, teleported back, back out? out? You currently it's cannot the see. Yeah. You are, all you see is white. My eyes are supposed, supposed to open, open now. now. And you all <laughs> hear, however, this keen, high-pitched sound as around you, things are different. You see this statue now simply in, in but a moment of aid go back to her original position. You will see this being that is touching the statue and simply moving around it, walking, looking at it fondly. But yet another also appears on the opposite side and simply just sim touches again and they opposite each other. They don't see each other it seems as they both move around at the same pace, both Kalashtar one called Vishara Amara and the other called Kotana. Vishara Amara. Simply <laughs> moving around. And you all see beyond this still wind now. The, the, it's, it's as though the cyclone has simply stopped. It is still there, but it's no longer moving. And you can see bits of grass and dirt and other, other bits and pieces simply in limbo. And beyond that you see the green spires. But you then no longer see these dark creatures of the of the quarry. But multitudes of faces. Multitudes of um, beings as though dreaming, appearing, not noticing you, but simply going about their dream, picking flowers or laughing with their friends. Happy, it seems. None of them are being broken out by quarry at this time. And the keen sound continues with a, <coughs> with an overtone of a lady's voice, simply singing. What are you doing? Can I try and approach? Vishara and Katana, and I, I want to just, just like whoever is the next to approach me or get, get to if, if they're walking around, around whoever or if they're just standing still whoever's closest to me I want to just like reach out and and touch them okay as you walk up slowly uncertain to the statue which is now still again Vishara comes into f into view and is the closest. Touch the shoulder of this Vishara and I can feel it, like physically. It is there. It is warm. This brown blue six braids of hair, neat with these bow ties of silk and this simple yellow like a pale yellow robe and this these beautiful Kalashtar features with blue eyes and looks at you turns her head Amara I thought one day we would meet once more why are you here? Here yeah, to stop it. Here yeah, to stop the bad. You told me I had to stop the dreaming dark, and that's what I'm here to do. And your friends? I must say, I'm in the background using my sword to try and work out where I am <laughs> yeah. right now. I'm well, touching, trying to find things. For comic relief, as he's whacking his sword around, <laughs> Storm's like reaching his arms out, trying to get to him, skipping around the sword <laughs> as he does it. <laughs> You see this beautiful dance of awkwardness between those two. Yeah, and if I can get to him, I'll cast Lesser Restoration to end the blindness. You feel this warm Barclays and, and, and Thorum's uh, caring hand on your arm, and you are able to see once more. You're like, wait a minute, I feel, 
I felt that grip before. <laughs> it's, it's like silent. fate. Uh, I'm watching this and just like. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, gentlemen, please. <laughs> You did it, you broke it. Yeah, there we go, we broke it. It's broken. It's so <laughs> it's, it's this is the end of the campaign now. Did, did, did you all answer the, the secret question? And yes, and we leveled up. Did we level up? Um, no. <laughs> but yeah, I can, I, can I, I can see again. You can. And the first thing I can see is... Thorum. Like, Thorum's face. Wow. Your face looks so much better than before. I yes. like what you've done with it. Uh, thank you for knocking me out. Oh, you're not, welcome. Not cutting my head off, I appreciate that. It wasn't hard. <laughs> really? I was there the whole time. It was pretty hard. Alright, it was hard. <laughs> so you are here. You are all here. To end their pain. Amara? Yeah. At this point, this other star has come around and rests their hand on the shoulder of Vishara. Simply looks at you and is unmoving, does not smile, simply observes. Why? Why are you here, however, in my dream? I have not dreamt of you in some time. It is as though you had been lost. Um, I don't know how much you remember or when you went to sleep, if that's what this is. But when I was back at the monastery, everything was different and I was scared and so I, for, for a while I ran away and then Ilyana and Sonari brought me back and they guided me here and I, I knew that this is where I need to be and I didn't think I'd ever see you both again. We are here. We remember. We remember seeing you leave. Why did you not seek out Ilyana from the start, child? Why did you not seek her comforting arms and her aid? She was there, always. Why did you leave for her to find you? For a moment, like, Amara's face is going to look really both pained and puzzled, if that makes sense. Um, it's really scared. Um, everything was fine, and I was doing exactly what you told me and exactly what you guided me to do when I came back and there wasn't it wasn't just sleep it was there were people that were dead there was a lot of distraction and I'd never seen that anything like that before and looking at something that had been so pure and so disciplined and so so routine to then go to something that I'd never seen before ever. It was frightening and it was a scene that I never thought Ilyana would ever approve on or let happen and for a moment I never doubted my faith but for a moment I just thought how could she let this happen and I'm not justifying that thought process but it just it was a lot and I was I was really scared 
you see us in, in the destruction? Did you see us lying without life? saw everyone. I had wondered. I had wondered why I kept dreaming. I had wondered why my dreams did not seem to end. It is as though it was peaceful has been peaceful. Do you s sometimes sleep but then know that you are just about to awaken? Do you know that feeling? The moment before your eyes open and the, the world awaits again on a new day. At this point, they start to look around and talk to and all of you. It's that sort of feeling that I have moment by moment as though the, the bre you, you consciously breathe you know that first breath you take as you awaken have you ever felt it? every morning so you caught in this constant No, it is not. It is no longer a dream as I see it, as, a, as Amara has described. This dream is in fact not going to end, it seems. We were in the rubble. Yes, Amara? It is funny. Now that I know this, I do not feel this moment anymore. The passing uh, thought that I will wake up. It's unusual and fills me for a moment with fear that I feel you felt, Amara, for quite some time. Ilyana, however, is grateful. She is thankful and she knows this was hard, a difficult journey thus far. I feel she has brought us here then to guide you as Sanari guides you. But Sanari has not come in the dreaming dark. In Dalcor here, she cannot. She is here with you, but not. We can abide for some time. Your friends are safe. Elena has seen to it. They are not here, but they have awoken. They are at peace there, in the temple, waiting for you. But in doing so, the strand of connection between yourself and Corvair has been severed. Sarivia is no longer here to guide you out. There are other ways, other paths, other doors here. And with guidance you will you will make your way out, but there may be other challenges while you are still in Dalcor. I'm sorry to say, but you must abide here for, some, for a, a, a time longer while you seek your way out again. We will protect you. Make sure that 
those with the dark thoughts steer clear of your presence. We cannot protect everything about this place. There are travelers, for instance, that seek out this place for secrets. Living beings, like yourselves, that can move through this space without hindrance. Just be wary of them. When you return to Shan, when you return to Shan, there will always be danger. Will you be there? When you leave this place, our time will have passed. Ilyana has simply wanted us to wait here. She has allowed us to abide for some time longer. We will move beyond this place and call there and no longer dream, but be with her in peace. We will be watching, but we cannot protect any longer. We are so proud of you. We love you dearly. If we were able to, we would stay. Your training, however, must come to an end at some point, and you must grow, and you have. But put the fear behind you, the one last thing that protects you, that protects you from, from them. Be brave with your friends, and if you are alone, because Eleanor is with you. She will always be with you with her gift. But we must be away. Here. Hand me your staff and hand me the wand. Upgrades. Well, while she's thinking about that, is there two of them there? Are they both standing right next to each other? Am I far from where they are? Can I just whisper on up? This is a very important moment. I might just say, uh, excuse me, um, um, powerful being, I think I know what's going on here. If it's okay, do you think you might be able to move my body from the shrubbery outside of um, the university to the temple? Seem to be an initial response. If you can't, that's okay. Just need to know that I'll be okay where, where I think I'm lying. The other being who hadn't spoken yet looks at you and he says, I am Cortana, and your friends know where you are. They will find you, and they will bring you to a safe place. Thank you so much. There's a, there's a special place, if I could request one. It's um, in the chambers of, um, her name's Melistra. She's one of the twelve, back at the university. It, there's a specific you, place. They will take you back to Ilina with your friends. Oh, that's fine. That's good, too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you for everything that you've done for our companion here. A simple nod is your reply, as the attention is turned back for a moment. I feel like if I give you my staff and I give you this wand, that's it. It may be all that you see of us again. Yes. We will be with you, but not as scenarios. Our strength will be yours. 
Our strength will be in your heart, we hope, in your mind. And we hope that you will use Amara's, uh, Eliana's gift to fight and defend in her name and push aside whatever reservations you have with or without those you have left behind. It's not reservation, it's, it's mourning. And I don't want to accept being left behind by anyone else. I know it's selfish, but I don't want this to be it. You're, you're holding on to something far in the past, Amara. That is not the path to bravery. That is not the path to seek your vengeance on us. That is not the way of the shadows. It is not what we have taught you. And your heart is longing, yes. <coughs> but think back on your training. Push aside the feelings you have, for it is those feelings that will bound you here and keep you from, from fulfilling that in which Juliana asks. Push forward, grow. Be not afraid that we will not be here in the flesh or simply a vision anymore. Be glad that we have found peace. And yes, mourn for us. Simply mourn for, for a memory. For that is all we are now. Friends. You have done much for Amara. You've taught her much. We are very grateful and wish for you to stay with her a while longer to watch her change and grow without us with your own gods and your own ideals do not shred that link you have with her whomever you worship you have your own ways but please, for the strength that Amara needs, be there when we cannot. Another pair of hands. Cortana's now simply open up in front of you and waiting. I'm going to not make eye contact. I'm going to hand over my sh hand over myself. Just the stuff? The, sorry, stuff. Yep. <laughs> you are She's naked. naked. As she takes, Cortana takes the staff and Vishara takes the wand, the blackened half. Again, that dull black, but see-through, as though you can see into the universe itself. A never-ending space. And this nimbus light in a curve. The staff, simple, well-made, masterwork even. With these notches of battle, 
blood and flesh that is stuck on it. And kneeling down and forming this from this natural living form that these two were you you remember this Amara as a much more advanced version of the way of, of shadow step as these two suddenly shift and they become this black wisp still keeping their form but, but wavy as though there's just bits of them left and that they are flowing outward away from you towards the statue and the staff and this piece they simply touch together the ones disappearing the staff curved and forming this white probably uh, five inch white marble stone at the top a dull light shining from it. The rest of the staff now changed in color to this dark, deep wood, and at the bottom, this black spot, a jewel at the very tip. And that just happens, but in a moment, no sound, no flash, just a simple second in time as they both hold this staff out now and hand it back to you, holding it out Amara, waiting for you to take it as Vishara continues. You have now the heart of Ilyana. With this Kori will be shunned. They will know this to be powerful and they will know this to be their bane in this world and in Corvair. It is this peace that now they know to be real. Be warned. Your greatest challenge against them is to come. They know your power now with this. And their dukes and kings and lords of their kind, no longer simply their soldiers, will seek you out here. In Corvair, you are hidden. The heart of Ilyana will make sure that they do not find you or your companions. And also, the Kalashtar in the temple, with the power within, will emerge awake again. But your next battles will be here. You shall need to seek them out when you are ready. And have her by your side. Do I have a promise, friends? Friends of Amara, of Ilyana. Soldieress of her might and her faith. I stand with Amara. Their cause, I feel like, was true. And I tell you now that if my mind's ever overtaken, don't spare me. I agree. Don't spare him. Mm. Yes. And don't spare him. Mind you, if anyone falters, I don't wish them to be a part of this. We should act as one. And act as one you shall. You must. Who are we? I Followers of Edo, every one of us. <laughs> <laughs> We're Thorum's five, and yes, we will stick together. 
I either failed you, my friend. Yes, the one's five. You all have <laughs> challenges. Amara's is almost done. Be with her to the last, and she will be there for you. I'm sure. I saw something. And it scared me more than anything's ever scared me. And it was a vision and it was that to defeat the dreaming dark the sacrifice would be our people and I've already felt that sacrifice with you and with other people I care about but how big is that sacrifice Tana and Visharis look towards each other and look back towards you with a uh, solemn look, no longer smiling. And Visharis says, the sacrifice may be great here. Each Kalashtar is bound to Ilyanar by a thread of their very being. You are all connected if you serve if you serve her. And this connection can be for those of powerful will overtaken. They will try, Amara. When one falls, they all will fall. Without your help. The color star may cease. For the Kori are powerful beings. They will attack their minds and move to the next without a moment's thought. You heard right. They were once Kalashtar themselves, but have fallen and seek only revenge, no matter what they say. And this revenge may come with a high toll. But with her by your side, you will save them. Whether that be that you save them and help them live or save them to the embrace of Ilyanar it remains to be seen how many is too many I don't want to be a part of that number just like I imagine neither did you we did not but we knew the sacrifice may have had to be made at some point. And your sacrifice and your choice is even more imperative. We must part. Are you ready? Tomorrow on the shoulder. We can be. Together we're strong. Though you may not feel it, we can carry you and each other through this. Let's do it. It's time. Mm. Go on. It's time to leave this place. Without Go guidance, on. you will leave. 
It's my just. Can I just, just yeah check something? So you've got to make a choice. Still, right? No. Do I? <laughs> Do I have to choose my dice as well? <laughs> yes. Does she have to make a choice? <sighs> Not now. Okay. When the time comes where you may be given not much but you may be in a very dark place here you may need to either strike a bargain or you may feel and be strong enough to overcome this these lords here in the dreamlands but not now now you simply must leave and find your way back to your bodies, back to your sleeping selves. I think we will be strong. I think Amar has proven we'll be strong. We'll be ready. Is there anything else that you can share with her? If you wish this to end quickly, then stay here. Is there something that we seek an enemy to end this? Yes. And their name? They are known by their kind as the Kalak Kori. Is there one that we could? Are they more powerful than the one we just defeated? <clears throat> they simply not. And there are many? There are few. Is there just one that we should... dispatch? One will be enough to loosen their hold on your world and take them back to being trapped forever here. For their minds are linked. If anything, can you give us just the name? They are simply the Kalak Kori. Of the one? There is none. They are all linked. And there is only one way you will seek this being. <clears throat> I see. And this to seek it will be through the gift that Amara has received. It will point the way when you are ready. <laughs> Gana will walk up to Amara and just hold her hand <clears throat> and he'll just say, we won't stop at one. Amara, She calls us now. I don't say anything. Just do that awkward little cry nod. certainly try. <laughs> they both look at you and beam and smile and you remember moments past, mi minutes, hours with them, simply meditating or being playfully trapped by both of them as you shadow step for the very first time and they caught you unawares in a dark room and you laughed and you played the staff the jewels were plentiful the bruises were many and as these memories and recollections fill your mind the more silent of the two and has always been the more silent of Dana simply 
moves away from the world and disappears. The closer of the two for you, the one you confided in more, the Shara reaches out, doesn't touch you, but puts her hand where your heart should be, only about a foot away, a hand outstretched. Be well, Amar. She steps back once, and the last thought you have before she disappears is the look on her face as you found her under the rock in the temple, and the peaceful face she has now. And at a moment of happiness for her that she has now moved on. And as you all look around you, as though pieces of glass floating down around this statue of Villanar, so falls the slight bits of wind in pieces, this cyclone and lightning strike. One of the lightning strikes simply in, in um, uh, still uh, form disappears. These dancing, happy dreams of these humanoid creatures surround you. You look around and you hear them, suddenly happy to be here, not looking over their shoulders. As you look ahead, your staff now almost guides your hand as it points a particular direction beyond the green obelisks to perhaps the way out of Dapur and back to Sean and that's where we'll end it for the evening thanks uh, what an episode before we wrap up two of our fans did drop a thousand points each on a doable dance Oh, oh wow! Yeah, for Gunnar Adamar. Oh, guys, go for it. I'm gonna do the Thorum dance. <laughs> it's the best one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Gunnar Adamar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.